So. Warning time. There was an update today for this thing, game. Um, it wasn't anything important, really. Some fixes, some adjustments to things. Nothing that would uh, mess with this current run. So let's just hope. If it doesn't work, we'll have to roll back the, uh, the version. I don't know if this game can do that on Steam. If it can't do that, this might be the run. What the hell? Anyways, watch it all fall apart. I'm gonna tear my eyes out. Let's see. All right, what's happening? It looks like everybody's happy. Screw it. So, um, the map doesn't show the uh, quests and hostile and friendly groups anymore. So that broke. But that might be fixed if I do this. Yep. Good old logbook and it fixes everything. It's been a bug with the game since its release. I don't know. It's Unity. What What do you expect? So, I think we're going to the... Uh, we're going to, to the orcs. To become friends. And also maybe find a village on the way that uh, is under attack by pirates it certainly slowed down I don't know if that's because of the update it shouldn't be um I hope it didn't break any of the mods. Okay, jewelries are still light. And... What about the experience? Experience is, is still... It's still fast. The rest I don't care about. Actually, there's one thing I would care about, but... I don't think anybody's using wands anymore. Yeah, this guy is using these as well, so it doesn't matter if that broke or not, but it shouldn't break, because nothing modified that aspect of the game with the update. It was just a tiny little patch, really. so fucking long to walk maybe we should just jump on the water try and sail all the way to the orcs but ah the water is scary a lot of krakens and topless ladies with fish tails I don't like that topless ladies intimidators what the fuck It's the fourth fucking time this happens. 
Why? Just track them. Pop them. And they are in the same place again. I'm just gonna send one person. I'm just gonna send someone who's attractive. Are you attractive? Are you attractive? Oh my god, the ghost was the attractive one. Shit on a stick. The ghost was the attractive one. Blubber's ghost is attractive. No, wait, they're not. How the hell did I have the attractive tag then? Hey, Bob. New Vegas addict? Nice. I mean, hey, if you gotta be an addict of something, be that, because that is that's actually good. I'm gonna keep the lady in. I'm not even giving them food. Actually, I am, because then they I'm gonna fucking complain about not being able to eat. That's enough for you. Oh no, they're a little further away this time. I'll not need even more. Addiction is real and unstopping. Good. How do we get attractive? There's no one attractive in the group. Seems like a B-U-G to me. But it don't matter. Still, it should be fixed. Mm hmm. Hmm. I also looked up whether the uh, resist death chance stacks or not, and it's confirmed it does stack. But it only helps with physical. Because when Sanity goes to zero, and people leave because of mental, mental instability. They don't die, they just leave the group. But I mean, hey, those are the only two options. Because if your faith runs out, you rapidly lose physical health. And then you die. So, you know. Healers can help with two types of death. Which is because basically both of them are the same type of death. So if you got 100% death chance resist... You only have to worry about me... Uh, sending me. Down only like 15-20 radios? Why? Don't you know that YouTube has a bunch of radio stations? Where you can just listen to whatever? Bruh. I feel like that's a little pointless. There's literally a Megaton Cafe radio that you can find online. It's literally a radio station that plays songs like the songs in uh, Fallout games and, you know, and do songs as well. I used to listen to that when I was streaming New Vegas. Not last time, but before that, like, Four years ago, I don't know. <laughs> no need for a fucking mod because of that. But hey, you do you. You break your run because of a mod? Yeah, that's basically the only downside of modding. It can literally destroy runs, but hey! Fallout ain't a long game. You can quickly get up to the same place. Look at all these zombie rats. Nasty. Ah, there's an unliving crypt where the Slavian village used to be, or around that. Kinda of funny. Alternate start mod, and now you're a thief? Oh, that sounds... Pointless. 
You don't need stealth to be able to just steal everything. You literally just pick up everything that's not nailed down. Even when people see you doing it, they're not going to react. If you do the cheese, which is not to put it into your in put the item into your inventory, but physically pick it up with your mind and then move it somewhere where people don't see you. You don't even need sneak for stealing. Every time I do a uh, energy weapons uh, focused character in New Vegas, I empty out the silver rush without any stealth required. I just move everything into a corner and then pick them up. They have no idea what's happening, even though it's happening right in front of them. It's perfect. Mm, intelligence. Is this intelligence? Oh, it actually is. Sure. Counterattack? That's decent. You're looking for radio stations that are within interesting hosts? Or within. Oh, interesting hosts? Why the hell do you need hosts? You're listening to radio. You're listening to music, not host. I think you need podcasts, not radio stations. I never understood why there's fucking hosts or talk shows and shit on radio stations. Just play music, that's what you're there for. And maybe news, weather forecast, maybe traffic information. Kinda depends, but... Random talk shows? What? What is the point? Line charge is going to be okay for her, so she can do some physical. Oh, that's Blubber. Oh yeah, Blubber is actually a very bad ghost. But they have a lot more physical, though. Yeah, sure, get ghostly axe. And I hear a tiny cat crying outside, and I should... I should check that out, but honestly... I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm gonna check it out, hold on. Two cats around. One is trying to sleep, but who knows what the tiny one will do. Oh my god! Huh. It's kind of a mandatory thing, isn't it? Cats going ape shit at the beginning of the stream. Every single time. Day is clear, but there is a one of these again. I don't know why I do these. I should just attack. Like talk radios. Listen video games, yeah you 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 told me before. Yeah. What is this? Oh that's the current thing. <clears throat> Well, let's see if these Shadowkin are under attack by pirates. Man! Maybe I should just finish this run. But I really want to know what Gosk's might is. I'm not gonna do the arena, I think. That might need a lot of just farming. To have everybody with absolute endgame gear. I don't, kinda, I don't really want to do that. Favorite radio has to be Joe Rogan experience. Joe Rogan doing interviews with... Oh, AI, of course. Of course. What else would it be?
I don't think they are under attack. Wait, don't you already multitask while playing video games? Why do you need like seven different things happening in just the video game alone? I cannot comprehend your power. Uh, maybe I have to be on good terms with them? Although we are already on good terms with them, we're not allied, but... We're friend. Well, well, we're neutral. Can I repeat the question? There was no question. Actually, there was a question. But I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> I asked uh, that you're already uh, multitasking while playing video games, right? So why why would you need like seven different things happening just in the game? And then I said that I cannot comprehend your power because it's just overwhelming already. I personally cap out at like, I don't know. Triple tasking, maybe quad tasking. Quad is kind of tiring. When I'm like watching sped up VODs, plus some live stream, plus some playing a game, plus some like, I don't know, watching a movie or something. That, I've done that like once or twice and it was kind of tiring. So I, I, I kind of cap out that, that triple tasking. <laughs> Good enough for me. Why would I want to give wisdom to this man? Intelligence would be a thing for him. But not wisdom and not, certainly not destiny. Whoa, inspire. These are both kind of garbage, so that's cool. <laughs> Trash. I can inspire my teammates so they deal an extra five damage. 890 turns in, that 5 damage is going to do absolutely nothing. What a demon. Alright, next settlement is probably going to be... Oh my god, the goddamn imps though. Or what are these goblins? I'm on negative turns with them, sadly. Hey, little goblins, thank you, goodbye. Apparently random encounters can still be friendly. Oh well. You lie, you don't actually multitask, you do watch video games videos sometimes, if you get ill, bored. A little bored. Focus on the game? Ah, I see. I never focus on the game. Right now, I'm not even playing. As I told you last time, this is all AI. It's going on its own. You see, it's just repeating, it's re-rolling events. To get the uh, most beneficial things. Oh, it rolled an egg again. I'm just here watching what's happening. Shield me! Ah, the darkness! You defeat the darkness, suck it up. Ooh, Gram Gram's got some lovely, lovely mysticism. But it's still. Like, for some reason, we are very low in purple again. Like, the whole group is just... Look at them, we're all suffering. I think there was a very long period of wind. So let's just, uh... Gather some coal. Almond wood, sure. But we do a ritual or two for... Spirit. Give us two spirit. 
Rachel. Mm. Let's do Earth Vision as well. Because we can at least see more even when it's snowing like crazy. So I can see where the settlements are. I don't have to run around like a headless chicken trying to find them. Jorogan experience was the only pure talk radio you found. First. And why did you get 15 or 20 radios if there was only one you found that you wanted? What is the point? Should I give him headbutt? That might put him in danger during yellow challenges because he only has 9 intelligence. But gang support is trash. Especially since he's alone. Eh. Build drain. Ooh, some more leech. I think he already has something that leeches, though. Not these. Oh yeah, the ghost axe. Purple and... Oh, this also. For everything. Chain whip. I guess I can make his alt maneuver stronger. What is the wheel drain? Wisdom. That's garbage for him. And Herbert. Herbert is a destiny, right? He's got Solter. And he's got the weapon attack as well. So yeah, destiny is good for this guy. Herbert. Asshole. Fiction shows inside Vegas, not in universe shows that are happening in Vegas. I mean, those AI things are not in universe shows either. They are goddamn fake things. Fake. More fake than the video game you're playing. It's a fake sapption. If you ask me. Although, you only played New Vegas from the Fallout things. I don't know how much you know about all the universe and the lore, so you probably don't mind random AI-generated drivel. Did we do the... Uh, we did the Earth Vision, good. But it's still snowing. They weren't under attack, the voted demons. Man, the Gosk Smite thing might be a bust. Unless I find people with orcs, or you know, uh, pirates with the orcs. Orc pirates attacking the orcs. Or maybe the dwarves, those are the only ones. I don't know if I've ever seen a goblin settlement. I don't remember. I uh, don't remember. Well, there might be elf stuff, or for it, or even forest demon stuff down here. But I really don't want to go down there. It's so out of the way. Man, maybe I should just end this run. I kind of want to do a nomadic elf elf run. These goddamn Striga Masters, you definitely need enough purple in your group to be able to at least deal with that. Every single time, they just, out of nowhere, they just step on us and it's like five purple. <gasps> goblins! Found some goblins. Let's uh, fight them in the spirit world to get some loyalty because we are in the negatives with them. And I don't know if they want our help from potential pirate attacks if we are hostile to each other. They pretend to be in universe? Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. You you don't really know if it's good to pretend or not. Cause you got no idea. Thing was written by a fan and voiced by Oh, so only the voice is AI. Uh, I mean that That certainly changes things. The script is written by a fan, but I mean written by a fan. I don't know about that either. I don't know. I might just be a little jaded. <laughs> Main weapon was has been a revolver called Lucky. 
you probably got from some named NPC. Lucky. I don't like revolvers in Yuvagas. They kind of stink. In my opinion. Goblin chieftain. Oh my god, leave us alone with all this. Fuck! <laughs> Look at this. They just keep coming! And of course they step on us, so we can't choose the loyalty increasing thing. We have to use the one that is loyalty decreasing thing, and now they just swarm our ass. And there goes our public relations. Great. I'm going to burn them alive. Honestly, fuck the goblins. There's no goblins here. Oh, they're right there. God damn it, they were under me. Right under my nose. Improvise. No blood. Uh, 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 strength or intelligence with this asshole. Give him some intelligence so he breaks them. Not completely useless. Rusaka. Revolver is your strongest weapon, it's bonus critical damage. But with your stealth? Yeah, that's sure. But I mean, you get one shot and then there goes your stealth, so if there are multiple characters you need to kill. Better curve that bullet. I'll say I remember that uh, guns that had uh, pair bullet reloads in New Vegas would bug out. That was way back. Way back when. I think I didn't encounter it uh, at all whenever I streamed the game. I remember way back when the game was new-ish. If you had like the cowboy repeater for example and you would reload, uh, I think you would not be able to shoot and if you would look around with the mouse cursor, your character would actually move in a half circle, even though you wouldn't actually touch any movement keys on the keyboard, or something stupid like that. And you would have to like move a lot, move around a little bit with the mouse cursor, dragging your character along, and like zoom in to fix it or something. So I generally didn't use any of these better per bullet or per shell reload weapons. I think that one of the shotguns is also like that. But it's been fixed, but you know, it's been a nice little... nice little fun... fun bug or something. Oh, there you go. This settlement is now overrun with pirates. Some of the locals are chained and forced to work. <laughs> what is this? Uh, with others locked up in cages or hung on displays as examples. Spot a small camp nearby and the captain is not an orc, but a man. Looks like a learned man. And on his belt, you see a leather tube bearing the symbol of Gosk's might. You're gonna leave. Gonna move over a little bit. Sit our ass down. Right. And we're gonna make a mental blessing for ourselves. And then we're gonna do the mental challenge. Because that one we can probably still do. Easily. Even though it's 10. I'd rather do the mental challenge than the physical. But they're still spawning... Goblins. Interesting. Get the fuck out of my face, goblin. I will massacre you all. I only need the Gosk Smite quest. And then I can just kill them. Alright, Blubber leveled up. Blubber gets some more of that. Alright. Pirate. Parley with the pirates. Bandit. Into is stepping on many territory here. That's why pirates are taking over land settlements. Alright, we be pirates, alright. We be ruling the seas and now we rule drylands too. The sea spoke. And the sea gets what it wants. Now be gone. Parley with the pirates. R. I'll tell you what, little buggers have gone and hidden somewhere. We got their home, we killed many, but the others are just gone. Puff. And well, the shaman sits outside and laughs at us. Says we cannot enter the hideout, no pirate can. 
Or you can pay us. If you have any pointy ears, they're worth... Oh, we can sell elves. Sell an elf slave? What do you want us to do? Kill the shaman. Let us take them young ones as slaves and leave the rest be. Alright. But we need this one, actually. Hey, Captain! Ew, they got swamp trolls. They got... Limp Slicer. Shit. That's okay, we're fine. Gram Grams. Gram Grams is always taking the brunt of everything, it looks like. It's a good. So you know my paternal legacy, how interesting. I was always told that one day a chosen of the gods had come claim this and that I should heed their claim. But that was then. Nice now. Pay me. And peace is yours. Why is Gram Grams going insane because of this? Like. Please, give us the map. Uh, okay, but pay me for it. And Gram Grams is like, no! We don't negotiate with terrorists! He's going to go hang, hang himself. One shot, one chance, one opportunity. One chance? Wow, that's some spaghetti you wrote there. It might be Mom's spaghetti, too. Doesn't matter when you saw like that one Legion guy who like burned that city with the lottery. They shot him once from distance with the revolver in the in the head. Head? <laughs> Everyone saw you, but you got away. Why did you get away? Why didn't you kill the rest of them too? Oh, I know. Because you you have a revolver, <laughs> and it sucks. <laughs> There's a goddamn laser rifle in Nipton. Just pick it up and shoot everybody. It's only guarded by like three tiny scorpions, not even the uh, just the, the bark scorpions. You can literally step on them and they die. You have no armor and health, so you're playing a normal difficulty. I always play a normal difficulty as well, you don't need armor and health, just... I always, just, if I'm against Legion, just kill them. They can't do shit. And then I go into the building. Watch how the Legion mongrels step on the landmines and die, and then I just loot the entire, the entire place. All oh, the houses have as a uh, like a Mister Gutsy. That can be a little annoying, maybe, but eh. there's nothing dangerous in that place. Even if you're just starting out and you literally just run there. Then again, while you're running to Nipton, it's it's uh, advisable. To at least clear out the uh, the dried lake bed of the ants, they give you some XP. Also kill the bandits. Maybe try and kill some of the scorpions carefully, so you don't attract the giant ones because now those will kill you. Um, maybe kill some of the big corners, some XP. You know, there's there's some stuff, and then the legions like. Meh. Or you can just let them go. They will literally not attack you, even if you talk to them and, and tell them to bugger off. They will just be like, well, consider our offer a uh, courier, and then they just leave. It's, it's fine. You can still go into the, the, uh, the, the city hall and just loot it. It only has dogs and mines in it. Man, don't be such a wuss. Uh... Ask more about the map first. Peace comes from my ancestor, Nemuslav. Was a famed inventor and explorer. He said he dealt sword ape into the seas. He met the gods themselves there. Gosk's might is said to unlock the sea's greatest power. Others say it is a treasure sunken many millennia ago, waiting for the right person to claim it. Watch it be a goddamn nuclear bomb under the water. An old Ruski nuclear bomb. Why did you not go after the treasure? My grandfather tried, his father before him, and my own dad dabbled in, in it for a time. He all perished in the end, poor wretched and crazy. No, it's not for me. I'm a scoundrel, sure, but I believe this map was meant for another. You, perhaps. How much? Eight thousand dollars for a piece of appear. I don't know if I have enough dosh with me. Uh, 
Are we not gonna have enough? I don't want to give my uh, my smoky thing, but I can give all of the. Oh wait, we're good. Give me back a dragon bone. Give me back some amber. Actually, how is the amber? Oh no, that's 35, that's the value, and that's the number. Oh, yeah. Give me back some amber. Thanks! Ah, oh, here you go, take it and find your destiny in the high seas. Ask for clues for the next and final piece. Takes a look at you and, and what you have and speaks. You have the drunkard's piece, that's unfortunate. That of the unfortunate Prince Eric. See you now, is. Cast it is. If you have the three, he'll come to you, for he's the general. Swim the seas if you dare, and he will come. Thanks. Let's give he'll train you as an inventor. Um, we don't have a crafter. We have a Zerka. And we have an inventor. But we don't have a crafter. Why the hell would I want to train? Oh, I just made him into an inventor. Did he decrease his level? What the fuck? Oh. And now we need to sit our ass down. And pray that Gram Grams doesn't die. Because that's the only thing the death chance reduction doesn't protect you from. Mental. And he, he went mental, so... Yeah, so he, how was it, so like under 30%, you have 15% chance to, to just die, for sanity, I think, I don't know how much he regains per turn, I think it's the morale, so 13 per turn, so we need like 4 turns of survival, so he doesn't, you know, die. Which means I'm going to save scum, because I just don't care at this point. So your strategy is to make as much damage with a single shot? Well then, why are you using a revolver? <laughs> your talker and the hider? Lame. Got the map piece. And it's spring. Which is good. Spring helps people not die. I'm going to walk over here and sit back down. Because then we can also gather things. Hello! Oh, that's not cool. I should have just killed them. They're goblins. Nasty little schmucks. Went up to them, told them their crimes are unforgivable, and you imagine that your character would consider it so fucked up they would straight up kill the guy? So he did. Damn, and then you ran away? Did you kill the powder ganger in the uh, the grocery store? Or is it the post office? I'm not, I'm not sure. The guy with the busted legs? You know, just kill him, put him out of his misery. Boxcars or whatever the fuck his name is. I mean, he's useless. Or you can give him drugs, I think it gives you some karma. But that's that's my only problem, I think, in New Vegas. Karma system is stupid. It's completely busted. It's stupid. Did I save? Ah, who cares? What does Karma do in vanilla? I have no clue. At the end, at like level 30, you, you get to choose uh, from three perks. There are three Karma perks. An evil, a neutral, and a uh, good. 
All three of them give you critical damage immunity, but they give different things. I think the evil karma one is the best. I think the good karma just gives you a bunch of extra health or some shit like that. Not sure. Um, other than that, karma... I don't know. Because I know companions, uh, a lot of companions are, uh, you know, they refuse to join you if you are with a certain faction. But I don't think karma uh, influences whether they join you or not. It does in Fallout 3, but I don't think in Fallout New Vegas it does that. Um, I don't know, honestly. There's no point. It's just personal thing. It's roleplay, probably. But it's still kind of stupid. Because you can literally just touch a computer ten times and you are the most evil motherfucker in the world. You know? It's like, what? You don't even have to uh, hack it or anything. You just touch it ten times. Or maybe twenty, I don't know. But every time you touch a uh, forbidden uh, terminal, you lose karma. Even if you don't hack into it and don't tamper with it. <laughs> so... It's weird. It's the it's definitely a glaring weak point of the game. The message wasn't posted due to conflicts with the channel's moderation system. What was your message? What does karma even do? Well, let me check if I. There's definitely something that's beyond my thingy because I don't have auto mod enabled. But let me check anyways. What the fuck? Twitch sometimes does this. It's like takes things into its own hands for some reason. Gotta go into my mod view, so give me a second. Internet be slow. Super slow. Although it didn't show me that anything was held back. Loaning your activity. Automod caught nothing. There is nothing. I don't know what was not posted, but it wasn't my idea to hold it back. Post it again, man. Post it. Post it until it lets you. Maybe post it with different words. Or post it, uh. You tried rephrasing? Post it word by word. Just. Word by word. Do it. Spam that shit. I allow you. It's very- what the fuck? It's very annoying when, uh... Twitch does that. Even though there's literally no auto mod enabled, so it shouldn't even be able to do that. Mod give me perk for karma? Send squad for really good karma and really bad karma? So, you have that mod. It's basically like Fallout 3. They send you kill squads. Which makes Fallout 3's karma system also kind of pointless. Because if you're a, a good karma person, they send you the Talon Company. And if you're a bad karma person, they send you the Regulators. It doesn't matter what you are. You always get shit sent after you. It's like, you have to be neutral, I guess, to avoid that. It's kinda stupid. Why does he have gathering? What the fuck is the point? Also, Grandpa survived. That's his second brush with death. But he's a strong man. So now we have to swim. Now we have to just walk on water and wait for Namislav or whatever his name is to jump us. And I don't feel comfortable with that because the last thing was like 9 physical, 10 uh, mental. It's wind again so our faith is going down. Definitely want to wait for that. Uh, it's gone, good. Hey. 
This Gosk Smite is literally the end game stuff. Pirate Occupation. Oh yeah, we also want to kill the Spirit talker, uh, Talkers. Where are they? We could do that. I don't mind killing the little goblins. I don't know what this is, but it gave us loot. I mean, that mod is still, you know, at least it gives you something to look forward to. But I mean, in Fallout New Vegas, that might just make it a lot annoying, because once you start, you know, doing the faction stuff, you will either have the uh, the NCR death squads or the Legion death squads after you every single fucking time. Now, on top of that, that mod will also send you either negative karma or good karma death squads. Dude, just... That's just a lot of annoyance, in my opinion. But, I mean... To each their own, I guess. Intimidate the bandits. One of them threw their clothes down. They were so scared. They were like, please, no. Oh, I got this thing again. The black magic. Suck it up. Ooh. Dang it. I kind of want to go back to the uh, frozen lands and make friends with the ice demons. Why would you need strength? Although, you know what? Yeah, you need strength. You only have seven. You can't even wear armor. <laughs> so yeah, get some strength on you, old man. I also want another child so I can make another healer. I, I need another healer, please. Then again, we have... We have 24 people, I don't think it's going to give me children, unless there's an event or something. Because we have pretty much a lot of people already. Um, alright, we, we got the God's Semen, we got the Earth Core. Mm, that would be the thing. Oh, Igneous Spike, though. Keep moving towards that. Sexy Tang, I also hear a cat again. But, I will disregard that cat. Let it, let it meow, I don't care. Ah, look at this asshole, kill it! <laughs> Doing pretty bad, you've only met them once so far. But you killed them, right? Maybe they only appear once and you killed, and if you kill them, they are just gone. I don't know. 5 hours, 53 minutes of gameplay, met bounty hunters once. You didn't go back to the place you saw them was? They were still there. Their corpses? Huh, maybe it's bugged. Maybe it's just a shit mod. You approach the cave. Shaman who sits outside speaks. So you come to do their dirty deed, eh? And they are the enemy. You should not help them. My people are hiding in the spirit world and I guard at them. My wards do not allow the blue orcs in, but I admit you can enter. So decide whose side you're on, chosen. Not on yours, buddy! You break through the defenses and the goblins reappear in the physical world. The pirates storm the place and take the children as slaves. Yeah, give me one of them! But they do abandon the adults and the town, just as they promised. You see? You can make more kids. Spirit talker boss comes to speak to you. You sold our children into slavery. Perhaps you thought you were doing us a favor. Perhaps humans would not mind. But please leave us. We have plans to make. Here is a payment for the effort. We will not be indebted to the likes of you. Now go. Garbage. They gave us some wine. Oh no! They hate us. Whatever will I do? Come on, give me the option, give me the option! You are sent to oh. speak to the three oh. shamans and find them in a circle of luminescent shrooms. Oh. You come to talk of the great light, yes? 
Oh, you didn't kill them? Yeah, I mean, if you don't kill them, they're not going to spawn another group. That's kind of obvious. Come to Dr. the Great Light. Uh, I don't care about these guys. But let's listen to it. True. The spirits are even less inclined to meddle. Happy to stay in the gray world and watch us destroy this side. But us, we do like our physical shells, yes. So answers that you seek are hard to find. Can you provide answers or are you ready to die? What we will say may not be liked. We have no answers for the past. Spirits only tell us the light was kept under, just as the dark was kept above. Ancient deals, pacts made between beings long gone. Do you know how to trap the light again? No, no. those answers oh. we do not hold, but others we have. If light overwhelms, it burns us all. Humans are more change than stability, and you will hurt too. Only elves and perhaps dwarves may find their place. You have an alternative. Us, no. We will not dare speak it, but one does. Go to him. He is alone. He is different, and so he thinks Shame outside bringer. of typical bounds. Right, cool, Such cool, thoughts cool. are needed. Cool, 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 cool. You stink bad. Cool, cool, you cool, know cool, cool, friends cool, 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 cool. of our... Cool. We got an iron frog turtle. Plus 2.8 intelligence. We got a maxed out boar. 2.8 movement speed. Oh, if everybody had this, it would be kind of cool. Well, it killed all the goblins. Boo hoo, I don't care. 2.8 intelligence is 3 health. Once. Ah, oh, you can have it. Don't need intelligence though. Actually, it's good for showing off. Sure. Sure, buddy. I want to make friends with the orcs though. So let's go and do some orc stuff. Do some missions for them. Plus, I haven't been on the rest of the island. I haven't been on this little side. And that's probably where the Alpha Clan thing is going to be because there was no village here. I want to gain their loyalty. This person? Oh yeah, we gained the Water Demon trait with the uh, Chosen as well, which is pretty dope. Maybe I can get the uh, Orc trait too. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, something spawned here. Oh, Lightbringers. Oh, that's where Shamebringer is, I guess. I don't want to go there yet. Oh, night demons. We do have loyalty with them as well, I think. Neutral. Could make them into friends if I find their uh, hideout. There's another group. Oh, but shit, this one is six. Okay, yeah. That sucks. Snakes, kill them. Got them snakes. Royal snake. Alright, what are these assholes doing? Honestly, I might send them out to get their mythical letter. Because, I mean, look at them. What are they doing here? Nothing. I'm gonna leave her... And him here. So we got physical and physical death and uh, spiritual. And he also has some spiritual with the axe. But she is going to go out with the rats on a collecting mission. Yeah, because Semvino is good with yellow. And she's got a very good tanky physical as well. Take the rats. Also, Bob, here's the thing. I, I didn't even tell you yet. Incest rat was not incest at all. It was an actual... 
clean, decent, ghost, human sexual intercourse. There was no incest. I... I mistakenly thought it was, but it wasn't. So... I guess you could say I lied. Because I... I didn't remember properly. Just so you know, you know. That should be more than enough food. Because all they need to do is sit here and just collect. Orc, intimidate them giving you the stuff or else you'll attack. Okay. As, yeah, it's one, two, three. So they, we are two out of the uh, range. So they have to fend for themselves. Dang it! Which sucks. But oh well. For some reason you're planning f playing Fallout games is to play it in opposite order. You have a guess, then three, then two, then one. Whatever Brotherhood of Steel fits in. Brotherhood of the Steel is... It's not really canon. <clears throat> because Todd Howard said it's not. But it's between 2 and uh, 3. Also, don't play 2 and then 1. That's fucking stupid. You have a guess and 3. You can play it in any order. But... It, it wouldn't make sense to play 2 and then 1. Because they do... Uh, 2 does reference 1... Uh, fair amount. And there are even characters from there. Then again, there is, like, Marcus from... From the old games in New Vegas, but I mean, that doesn't really matter. But yeah... Uh, don't do 2 and then 1, that's, that's stupid. That is stupid. The first two games are too heavily story-based. Uh, with kind of a shitty gameplay. To just do them in a reverse order. That don't make sense. What the hell? This rat is garbage. I'm gonna give them destiny. Although, two destiny is like one mysticism, right? When it comes to spiritual health. So this would still be better, because this is like three destinies worth, I think. I think? I don't know. Yeah, because four mysticism gives it four, but six destiny gives it only three. Yeah, so it's halved. But yeah, the mysticism is better. Boom, done. Uh, I want to move on these guys. Let's see what they want. Use silver or better metal to intimidate them into backing down. Ah, oh, okay. Is this going to give us... Oh, it reduces our... Uh... Oh, actually it gave us zero. Loyalty change, okay. Okay. What the hell are those? Werewolves? Oh, they are, they are Skyrim skeletons. That's fine. You say how Fallout 1 works as a prequel? Just wanna do it for some reason? I mean, I can't stop you. As long as you enjoy it, I suppose it's not a problem. But you know, things might be confusing. Or just simply weird. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, these guys. I'm kind of confused now that I have three groups. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. What do we want? What do we want? We want to find some Alpha Clans, is what we want. Let's keep pushing in.
have sa It's not salsa, it's sunset. It's sunset sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. Sunset. Salsa. What the hell? Are these orcs? They look like orcs. But they are not a faction orcs. Just random. Gotta be one of your favorite genders. What? It's a drink. Drinks don't have genders. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you drunk? <laughs> Dude. Oh, Alpha Clans. They're coming. They're coming out. There we are coming in. Yar. Ooh, and more terrain artifact. That's good. Stay cautious, but speak to them. You are no friend of ours. Well, then die. Arr, and that gives us one loyalty because they love dying. Yay, they are such a simple, simple people. Oh, we can put ourselves down here and we get some beetle jelly, terrain artifact. We will never starve. Some research. Your mind broke? Even checked the spelling of the second word, but something happened with, fir with the first? And what about the gender? What? <laughs> what, what, what? Is that intentional? <laughs> Orcs might be the only ones where, even if they move on to your group, or the player's group, if you kill them, you still gain loyalty. They, are, they might be the best groups. Entirely. This guy's going to need some speed. He only has five wits. That is unacceptable. We got some obsidian. We should call it Deem. These skeletons are getting strong. And they still have absolute garbage on them. Nasty shit. Oh no! It's a werewolf! As you set up camp at night, you hear the howling of wolves around you. Some of it is worryingly guttural, almost men-like. Listen to the howls. There's something to be more happening here than an attack. You hear the wolves circling you, but they do not attack. The is clearly angered, yet also desperate. As you observe, you notice a werewolf among them, wounded, perhaps dying, yet still distrustful of your presence. Animal kinship. Let us show that you wish to help the wounded beast. If I can recruit a werewolf, I'm doing it. Stupid werewolves. Die! The pack retreats, leaving you to help the wounded werewolf. It has a silver blade lodged in its side, and the wound is festering with an odd taint. Help it. No! Dagger proves more than just silver, it was clearly cursed, and it turns to ash when you take it out. You are struck by remnants of a spell, and a curse lingers upon you. you. Do your best with the creature's wounds, the werewolf should recover in time. It didn't lose a lot of spirit. Oh, she. Actually, we lost like percentage. Yeah, we probably lost like, what, 20% on everybody. This motherfucker has a lot of faith. Good. Leave him for the pack to reclaim. Back house in tanks and gives you a bunch of garbage. Alright, tanks. Oh, but night demons are like, yeah, that's cool. That's based, as kids would say. <laughs> based. Based and furry build, I guess. What is gathering? Give me some of that. Give me some of that rock. I'm touching rocks. Right now. We're gonna take golem leather as well, because it's needed for the igneous spy. And the last thing is going to be the forgotten essence. Actually, I could take the rune bone first. So I can upgrade the dragon bones. Yeah. Oh wait, I don't have moonstone yet. Ooh, I should, I should have taken pure stone. I forgot that this was still here. Eh. That's okay, man. That's okay. How are these doing with Reclaim? 26. Wow, they are super slow. They might need some better gathering tools. I can make it out of uh, mythical leather once they gather enough. The gender thing is just a simple meme template. You're a meme template. <laughs> Say the sprinting mod you got is such a godsend. Oh, I would, I would believe. I would believe so. Yeah, honestly, I was tempted to put on a... a a sprinting mod 
Anyway, so you can, so I would be able to sprint uh, with action points, but I, I never did it. But uh, I imagine it's it's a very important mod because God damn it, the character is so slow in that game. Uh, yeah, more perception. Although she only has seven point five strength, and perception ain't gonna give her extra carry capacity. And I can't check her inventory from here, although I can cancel this. Petula, Petula, Petula. 425. Actually, she's got decent uh, capacity. Interesting. Why does she have that? Task, health, shielding, health regen, woman speed, range. Bia, 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 bia. I have no idea, but that is actually pretty okay. Plus, we can make cool shit like this. And this is not even the best stuff we can make. I can easily give her some kind of lighter, high-end, medium armor. Although, the obsidian javelins will also get heavier. Nah, she's gonna get the strength. Get that strength. Bruh. Have like slightly less mods than 200 now, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, feels if sometimes the game is like surprisingly stable. Hey, good for you. You lucked out. You definitely lucked out with that then. Mine kept fucking crashing. Mine was surprisingly stable only with vanilla. I don't know. Maybe I fucked up the mods, although I only did the basicest basic mods. Although I was using the Nexus mod um, uh, thingy. Are you using the Nexus mod? Uh, what is it called? That little software or application or whatever that the Nexus mod thing has. The mod manager. That's the one. Vortex, yeah. You're using it? I was using it too. I don't know then. Maybe my hardware is just whack. <laughs> Going to the abandoned house. Rotten trash is like home. Use your tools to open that. Oh, legit. Wait. Oh shit, that's the... Okay, I, I have to uh, always check what group it is because now these guys are alone and they are quite fucking weak. Although Death Lover is pretty tanky. And the rents are okay as well. 19, 18. So yeah, I renamed Incest Rat to Legitimate Rat after find, f finding out that there was no incest happening. There you go. Not tainted. <laughs> that looks so official. <laughs> I can even click on it. Look at highlights. Whoa. Actually, it doesn't. What the hell? Drop down some torches to keep the snakes away. Grab the chest before they attack. Oh, there's some snakes. Kill them. Take the goods and leave. Legitimate Red got some crafting. That's so cool. If we're gonna gather... Actually, we're not gonna gather obsidian. I don't want to gather obsidian. I want to meet the awful clans. So let's... Because... Oh my god! Oh my... Oh my god! If both of these are obsidian, we're gonna have a triple obsidian gathering spot right there. I'm glad I moved on. Also, there is spices. So if I put myself here, I can get food and wood. So I can replenish my supplies as well. This is a perfect goddamn place. I might build a second settlement here, just for funsies. I'm not gonna do that. I want to make the ring. Okay, everybody. 341 research. What does old woman Hamvina have? What's your research? 145? You're fucking trash, but you're already working on that, so you know what? Also, we are not rushing research. We literally don't care. I only need like, what, 
Nine more research and then we're good. Wisdom and destiny is what he needs for the shout. Eh, whatever. What's your speed? Garbage. His speed is really garbage, but his stats are also garbage, and he's already level 21. Outside of physical, he's trash. So I shouldn't really strengthen his non-physical, because then the game will be like, oh, you want him in um, mental challenges as well, and then he'll just die, so let's just give him speed. Because I'm not manual fighting. Waste of time. Okay, so your game just crashed? Yes! Yes! Get fucked! <laughs> this is probably because you were alt-tabbing. The game went into do not respond, and then you were typing and probably pressed space or enter. Oh, maybe you just closed it. F50 sunset sarsaparillas? That's nothing. There are literally hundreds of the fucking thing. Drink them all at once to get all the star bottle caps. And then go to the factory and do the uh, the quest. It will give you a nice laser pistol. Spoilers, but I mean... I just assume that you... You know, you watched my streams anyways. <laughs> Streamed that fucking game like three times already. This guy is mental, right? Yeah. And some strength apparently. I hope he has a two-handed stuff. Um, his speed is ass, though. Radovid, what do you have? Oh, whoops! I completely forgot that he's a uh, he's a half breed. He actually loses shielding when he's using one-handed shit. But I guess that one actually makes up for it. So you know what? He can live like this. He can live life in shame. He's only a half-breed anyways. Look at this beautiful thing, though. Ah, uh, there we are. Oh. Together. I streamed the game. New Vegas? Yeah, three times. <laughs> the latest one was an evil character with Legion. The one before that was my uh, Erasure stream, where I killed everything, but then I kind of failed because I started- What the fuck is this? Because I started doing quests, which kind of failed at the challenge. It wasn't really a challenge, it was just for fun. And the first time I streamed it was... I don't know, I think I did, uh, did the Yes Man. Yes Man ending. I didn't do NCR on stream yet. That's gonna be like, I don't know, two years from now. <laughs> I'm not touching that game for a couple of years. But I will stream it again, probably because I just like it, so... Yay. And a big ass bee. Bee queen. And also some tiny holic thing. What the hell? Or maybe something else. It's nasty looking. Right, I want to find their uh, group. One more turn and we get 3 times 12. So let's wait for that. And then we can move on. 36 more obsidian. Pretty good. Yeah, the dilemma your mind for a second, whether you should join the kings or get a passport? Passport? What passport? Strip passport? You don't need to. You don't need anything, just a thousand caps in your inventory. That's all you need. You can submit to a credit check and just go in. They don't even take the money away, they just want to see you have enough money to spend. Best smile! Have some sex! Yay! Ooh, the Rusaka is getting the Rusaka magic working. I hope we'll meet again. You are about to part ways and the captain turns to you. I just can't get you out of my head, Predator. What you say coming with us, huh? I can't offer much, but we'll have us some good fun and sharp eyes here. They always wanted to stay, settle down. So get them to do 
that good work of yours. A swap? I'm not giving you a Rusaka for a fucking hunter. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Stupid ass. I think the Alpha Clans might live here, actually. At the very edge, because these assholes came from there. Well, let's check that out. And they still might be in this... Actually, there might be nothing there, but whatever. Check it out. I might gather some spices and seaweed as well instead. Might as well. What the hell is this? Oh god, snakes. They don't even take the money? No, they don't. The whole reason is that the uh, security is like, Hey, do you have enough money to spend it on the strip? And you're like, yeah, here, a thousand caps. Okay, good, go on in and have fun in the casinos. That's it. When I first played the game, I also thought that they would take the money. But then I realized that they don't, so... It's just the check. See if... Ah, there they are. Actually, are they the... Oh, they are, but they have fucking skeleton problems, apparently. <laughs> Let's sit down and collect some of this tasty dust and weed. <laughs> Yum. Research all these things. So yeah, it's actually pretty goddamn easy to get into the strip. Thousand caps is not much. By the Honestly, by the time you make it to the strip, you should have that much. Or maybe it's 2,000? I'm not sure, but it's it's not much. These are garbage at this point. Submit to credit check. Alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My eyes lit up. Kill him. Yeah. Loyalty through murder. More. Thankfully they have an infinite supply of uh, dudes. Oh no! They are under siege! Join the Alpha Clans and fight the pirates. Fight the pirates. They have elven slaves who are absolutely trash at physical. But the pirates... Actually these two are absolutely trash as well, but this guy is strong. But this guy has a, a very strong wand, holy shit. Oh, that's okay, we should, yeah, we should easily, easily break that. We don't use these, that thing is trash, 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 trash. Puh. Wolves! Actual fucking wolves, look at that. This is the alternative, uh, look for the wolves. Because it kind of fits the game's aesthetic a little more. The vanilla wolf picture is so stupid. It looks very dumb, stupid. So yeah, I actually modded the fucking picture of the wolves. <laughs> yeah, three perception and summon wolf. Actually, that might be better than the dogs. I thought it only gave you the summon and no uh, passive effects, but apparently it does, which is good. If it the pirates and liberate the settlement, orcs sing songs of your joint victory. Leave. 30? Oh, that is cool. We need only five more loyalty to become friends. That is super cool. That was a very fortunate thing. I think three perception will give more health. No, actually, it gives less health than that. What? Perception doesn't give health? It should. Yeah, it shows that it does. But apparently, three health from the pet Shmoo. The tier one pet Shmoo gives more health than the fucking thing. Oh well, some people want perception. Yeah, that's 2.8, that's 3.0. I would rather keep the sanity there. Yeah, the dogs give sanity. Now this guy can take one of these fucking walls. Give you some perception for no no reason whatsoever. Guy has a shit wall, a shit dog though. Yeah, get the cool dog. Cool dog, man. Cool dog. Cool dog. Pretty nice dog right there. Who doesn't have a dog? What's your shack? 
What's your shack? 4.7. Who doesn't have a good shack? Shack shack. It's dead now. Dang it. I can't move in. Well, you already chose to get the passport. Well. Get wrecked, I guess. What can you do? You can also just kill all the security ones and go in. And then keep killing and killing and killing and killing and never stop. Never stop. Just keep killing, man. So this guy needs wisdom and intelligence. And probably more wisdom and destiny. Uh, so... Wisdom is probably better for her, right? Because convincing point... No, actually, intelligence is the one for that. Rusalka. Halt! Oh, you. You may enter. Some village activities will only be available when you are friends with these people. Can I help you with anything? You want to prove yourself? Good. Anything needs killing? Dwarves. Okay. I'll kill them. I hate dwarves. They're so short, slow, they eat extra food. Fuck them. I'll kill him. Gladly. <laughs> Falker and Hyder, not Gunner. But you don't need to be a Gunner to be able to wield a good gun. Guns are not really tied to your uh, skills. Sure, they will do less damage than if you had high skill with them, but... Track the Earth Diggers. Surround the dwarves, make your presence known. Convince them to leave. Ah, laddie. It is a tough nugget we learned at an old, an old anvil from a renowned smith lies buried here. It is an heirloom, you know. Let's get it out here before skunks get their green hands on it. Will you help? No, leave or I kill you. Bah! Either you nor fools will get this open anyways. We go, lassie. The orcs are pleased. Thank you. We got 50, and that is enough, but I see night demons. Is that their village? What is this? You're ambushed by orc bandits. Kill them. We will not suffer any banditry on this. E plus two. Very cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're fat. Wait, this might be this group that's fat. No, it's our main group that's fat. Oh. Only barely, and we might be able to trade that stuff away anyway, so... Wait. <sighs> Talker and Hyder, man. Then just duck down around the corner and shoot the robots one by one. And then they go into caution mode, so you run away, you hide. Until you're hidden again, you, you crawl up to them again, shoot one, run away again. Don't worry, they don't regenerate half their robots. Easy. Enter the territory claimed by the night demons, the furries. Look at them. Look at them, how they f how furry they are. See werewolves and strigas skulk in the shadows, watching you with hungry eyes. Have you come to offer your tasty blood or flesh, maybe? Can I explore? It's your lucky day, you may enter at your own risk. The pleasure house is busy, come back later. Is it the pleasure house? No, that's that sounds that Oh wait, we still gain Wait, I can just farm this. Hold on. It's the same as the Slavians. I can just try going in over and over again and just farm it. <laughs> that's the dumbest thing. And I will do it. Hundred percent. Get out of here, you stupid fuck. It's trash. Unless the game remembers that I already visited them and said no. Can I enter? Oh, no, leave. Return with those who are friends of the night, perhaps. Yeah. Never mind. They only let us do it once and then they are upset. But we need to make friends with the away parties of the night demons and then we can just go in 
Or maybe it's on a cooldown, who knows. Grand Grams, you definitely more need more of that mysticism because you're You're our main mysticism guy now. Since Bohumila died. Ah. Man, it's not the character you're all playing. If you have other preferable options that don't involve money, you use them. Avoid options that require killing and money. Killing isn't realistic optional unless there is no other preferable options. Wait, you're actually role playing? Oh. In a role playing game? Well, that was not allowed. <laughs> Halt! Oh, you. You may enter. Wait, we're not friends? <sighs> they know orcs have the best wolf packs. That's where most of the or wolves come from, okay. Come to rest and visit, press heal, anything to help with. Uh, watch the fighting pits for the chance to recruit. I can train my pets here. I can upgrade their their tiers as well. Ah, uh, arcs. I'm gonna max out all the sh the, the cats and sharks, shanks, shanks and whatever, and, and the dogs and stuff. Oh, that's amazing. Watch the fighting pits. As friend, okay, we are friends. They're invited to take part in the fighting pits as spectator. Losers of such fights will be dishonored and live in shame. So some of them come to you after and ask to be accepted in your clan instead. You would have to pay a clan price to the office to ensure some shreds of honor are saved. You can only recruit in this faction once, with a small chance for a second, when your population is very low. You need to pay a clan price for a fighter, as if this isn't the type of slavery and weren't works violently against slavery due to their past. Agree to pay for a worker. I'm gonna pay for a fighter. Good, they carry the biggest clan prize, as they are strong, but they may die from their wounds. Go see who wants to join your clan. You can only recruit once. Orc Dwarf or Turmoil, say you will fight instead of paying. It is the honorable way. Yeah. Blood Digger. A bunch of ghosts, what the fuck? A good fight, you are worthy of being the alpha to our kin. May the fire in your heart never die. Oh, that, that thing is pretty, but it's trash. And that thing is just trash. Accept the honor and welcome your new comrade. It's Quick Slicer! Ooh! He looks like a fucking orc from Lord of the Rings. Right? Like, not an actual orc orc, but like a Lord of the Rings orc. Like this trash looking ass. Undead motherfuckers. They lost minus five maximum sanity and health. That sucks, but it's fine, I guess. They're orc. Yeah, poison dagger and line charge. Red for killing an honor, strong, muscular, and brutish. If there is more to them, you rarely get a chance to find out. They are also attractive and beautiful because everybody in this goddamn fucking run is attractive and beautiful. And sometimes creepy. And beautiful at the same time. <laughs> hey, and we get some honor. Alright, let's welcome our new new person. Yeah, that definitely looks like a fucking Lord of the Rings, man. Lord Lord of the Rings? Is it like this? Or is it Is it like this? It's probably like this, right? Lotter? There. Lotter Orc with a K. Done. Yeah. And obviously the Lord of the Rings Orcs are more like goblins, but they're the ones called Orcs. Definitely not an uruk -hai. Fucking hate Lord of the Rings Orcs. They're not Orcs. They're not traditional Orcs. They're tiny puny fox. Anyways. They got light charge, so that's cool. I just need to stick a big two-handed something on them. With some heavy armor, now I have another pretty good physical. And an anchor and the uh, Lord of Rings orc and... Like, this orc looks more orc. They just got the wrong color down, you know? But hey, we're not colorist here, so that's fine. Why? Is it fucking wind again? Oh my god, it's winding again, isn't it? Or it was. 
fucking winding. Uh, all right. Halt! Oh, you. Can you... I train my pets here? Go searching for pet trainers. See the blood trackers. They train in wolves and more. Go, go see a witch to train familiars. Why? So you seek to improve your familiars? Good. Pay me and the job be done. Train your pet will raise it to fourth or fifth rank, and only train one pet at a time. Give a cat to be trained. I have cats. Pay with your spirit to train the cat. Pay with my spirit. Holy shit. Hurts. We got Zloslava's cat. It will go up by one or two ranks. Okay. Go, Zloslava cat, go. One and a half ranks. Hey, that works. Thank you, trainer. But now our spirit is fucking low, you son of a bitch. Zloslava, your cat is back, and the cat turned into. Spiky skin. Spiky skin. Oh my god, what happened to your fucking face? Well, obviously we are going to save. I don't want to lose people from low faith because I trained a fucking cat. That would be stupid. You're trying to roleplay at least? That's fair. Next playthrough, you will be a pacifist. You're going lower on the murder scale. That's not how you play shooter games. <laughs> They'll try to kill as many people without being the one to kill them. So just companions. But you already did that with the uh, diplomatic run. I charisma makes companions strong. They can kill everything for you. Even death claws. The dog kills death claws easy with high charisma, apparently. You found out if you if you don't start the game at Good Springs, you have no reason at all to go to Good Springs. How do you not start the game at Good Springs? Is it a mod? Because you always start in Good Springs. You come out of the doctor's house. Doc Mitchell. Such a nice man. I killed him a couple times. <laughs> Oh, improvised cover or improvise. Hmm, so that's just the passive. And you know what? Let's max out the passive healing or shielding for him. Why not? Alright. We didn't die from faith loss. Oh, you. You may enter. I want to see what you can trade with them. Not very good things. I mean, that's decent. How much is that? 7,000? 15,000. Nine and Swansing. I don't know what 15,000 is in German. I do not know German. That would be too weird. I want it, though. Give it to me. I'm gonna have to give them Obsidian, huh? Obsidian Entertainment. Huh? Fall out New Vegas, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give them the gold. I don't wanna farm Obsidian again. Plus I want to craft something with Obsidian to give to the Orc anyways. Give it to me. Orc. This one will give you a lot of health. And health shielding. And give you some sanity. Yay, look at that. Immediately up to 100. Boys, look at him, he's so happy. Also, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's an orc slugger, right? It's an orc. Orc hates one handed weapons. But the motherfucker is carrying two knives. Got two knives. That's not very orc of him. Also, that's not even allowed. We can't dual wield in this game. There might be a mod for that, but... I hate this the more I look at it. I hate him. Anyways, let's go back here. Carry a bunch of 
jellies and spices while we craft up some whoops some stuff for the man you know give him a big I'm gonna give him a big sword oh wait big sword wants to be made out of metal yeah, this beak sword would be bad. Well, give him a beak hammer out, made out of rock. Big rock hammer. Obsidian metal. Just stick with a giant chunk of obsidian. <laughs> Got shield leech. That's pretty garbage. Although it is AOE, so that's nice. Don't have enough essence for that. Oh, wow, that's pretty strong. Wait, this uses intelligence and strain? That's not good, actually. I want it to be intelligence or strain only. So I would have to make it out of this, but it's weaker. Why would it turn into fucking intelligence-based? Actually, only the single target gets stronger. Yeah. And this will also add life leech and shield reach. Okay, so that's better. Good. That's actually cool. However, we can also test it out with big axe. If in big axe. What the fuck, Obsidian? Why? Why? 2.4. It's only single target. Ah. I make him a jewelry out of this for shielding. What else does he need? He needs a collect, uh, whatever the crack that is. This thing. Yeah, sure. We can make that as well. Gathering, gathering thing. Maybe I can craft one that gives us. Uh, Group carry multiplier, you know, because he doesn't really need gathering his shit at it anyways, but if the group can hoard more things. I don't want to use up all my ancient wood though. Yeah, an extra 50% carry capacity for the group. That's cool. Alright, time to craft. And while they're crafting, we collect some food. That's fine. Don't be doing companions, you can do it alone. Got the alternate start mod? I mean, you told me that you got the mod that lets you go from Fallout 3 to Fallout New Vegas. I don't... I didn't see any alternate start mod there. Maybe I missed the chat message, sorry about that. Solo. You just run away from every single enemy and use every single dialogue option that might get people killed. That doesn't really exist, though. The only pe person the dial some of the dialogue options get killed is the player character, because you turn parties hostile. They're like, Ah! Oh, your money or your life! And then you choose your life, and then the Khajiit attacks, you know, that kind of stuff. Just more New Vegas and less Skyrim. I know in your mind you have only a few moments, like getting that one guy to kill ghouls in the rocket. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Lying to the cons about NCR letting them go for releasing the hostages. Oh, yeah, that too. Eh. I mean, there's also the guy at the uh, Bitter Springs. Up in the caves, I think you can tell him to to kill the NCR people. Although he's already killing them, but I think you can make him actively murder the NCR in Bitter Springs or something. Um, what else is there? You can uh, get yourself chased by uh, bandits and then run into an NCR patrol, and then they will start fighting each other. You know. <laughs> You can do stuff like that, you don't need dialogue for it, you can just pull people into each other. Oh, these guys again. Animal Kinship, it will give us some uh, bonus with 
Ooh. Bonus to the night demons, so it's pretty good. We got pure stone. It's this at all. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. That's not no legitimate threat. Oh, he's dead. Run, run. A titted demon. Legitimate net. No, he was so young. Well, someone gets dibs on his armor and stuff. I guess this rat can upgrade. God damn, legitimate rat. This thing is actually kind of shit. At this point. God damn it, legitimate rat. He's dead. And we might lose, uh... What's her face? Although now that they are back at the ha at the village, they shall have the uh, death resist. Although it only starts applying next turn. They also have a fucking curse on them. What in the fuck? Quick! Perform the ritual. And also perform a, a spiritual blessing ritual as well. Because that goddamn Striga is definitely going to come and try and finish the job. What the fuck? Where did it even come from? Oh god. Oh no, another one might die as well. Not to mention the this rat as well. I'm gonna save. I refuse to lose my uh, death death lover. The rats I don't give a fuck about. Because the rats are very... Actually, the rats... I should intentionally kill the rats. They count towards population numbers. Three rats, they're useless. Honestly, I should... I should send them away to die. But I don't want the uh, the orc worker to die. Because who's gonna get their fucking leather? I don't want my main group to sit around here, although they might need to come back to clear up this asshole. These are honestly the bane of my existence. But yeah, those rats are shit. Can't describe the alternate start mod? I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm okay without it. I don't need to know everything. Ugh. As I just pee a little. And then drink it. Mm. Pee. I'm like a one man bear grills right here. Just the one man bear grills. Wait, we are still on low faith alert? Didn't we do the, uh, the ritual? What the fuck? It didn't ritual our shit? Wait, does it matter how high ritual is? Do three then. Help! We need the rituals. Actually, is the worker okay now? The worker is still not okay. But their health is not low. They are almost at 50%, so they are definitely above 30%. They're okay. Who's not okay? This rat. This rat is the one that's... Actually, it's only... This one is also above 30%. It's only the uh, the faith that's low. Then again, if this asshole Striga comes out somewhere... Somewhere here... You know... That's okay. They, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. But yeah, I should delete those rats. 
And look, this one has the fucking audacity to just level up. I should also send away the, uh... What's his face? I should send away the root dog as well. This trash ass thing. Because look at it, it's level 20. But look what... Look how garbage it is. And it also takes up slot. I might actually send it away to die. It has... Actually, it's damage is shit as well. And it cannot have equipment. You know what? I'm sorry, Root Dog, but we need to think of our future, and you're a fucking dead weight. This guy's potential caps out at... Mid-game? The beginning of mid-game? Looking at how strong some of these pirates are, and the Krokens... The Krokens would just eat a hundred of these before they would even get hurt. I'm sorry, but... Root Dog needs to die. That shack needs to die as well. Even though... Uh, Root Dog is better than... Better than the rats. At least when it comes to physical. But a hum even a human would be better than this fucking thing. I'm sorry, Root Dog. I know... You're a beast, but it just can't work between us. Also, here's the thing, right? Root Dog is a beast. It has the uh, little symbol. But Rusaka is also a beast. Kind of. So, you know, the tag will still be the same. And this one doesn't have forest folk or anything, so... Yeah, I'm sorry, Root Dog. I'm sorry. Ah, look at it go. I mean, honestly, this thing is the lowest level of the summons. The fucking Bogbius, right? It's fucking trash. I don't know why I kept it for so long. Actually, I know why I kept it for so long. Because we had low population. But now we actually have a decent amount of population that we can get rid of the weaker stuff. So the rats will also be thrown away, but not... not yet. Because... If I threw these rats away as well, there would only be four people in the town. And these guys can still, uh, you know... You know, act as meat shields. See? Level 19 rat is actually... Around the same strength as that root dog was. Although this rat has the bonuses from the village, so never mind. It's it's worse. Fucking unliving rat. It is an unliving, however, so it does have the unliving trait. It can help us with unliving situations. So maybe one should be kept in the den, but definitely not all three. So you know. <laughs> Anyways. A music. Music change. What the fuck? You see trolls? Oh no, Rudo! Rudo, why? Rudo, no! Never give up, Rudo! Never give up! You can win this, Rudo! You can win this! I believe in you! I believe in you, Root Dog. You'll win this one. You might be able to kill that child. Yeah, kill the child, Root Dog. Kill the child. No! Holy fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's just fucking that. You see, they're not viable at this point. They are... They are okay on the goblin lands, they are okay on the uh, main lands, the starting biome. They might be okay on the ice lands, although maybe only against the icicles. And they usually don't do physical anyways, unless we initiate the fight, so... Yeah. And he had showing off for like 25 damage, 35 damage line charge, 36 bite. That shit. 
I don't even know why they have brute force. They already have buy it, which is oh, because brute force gives it for everything. Yeah, everybody needs to have something like that. At least they died with outstanding morale. I could move mountains. Well, I mean you couldn't because the mountains killed you. <laughs> I mean, in a way, Root Dog did move mountains, because the mountains were like, Hey, there's a dog. Let's squish it. So they moved to kill it. <sighs> oh, that's... That's summer. All right. That was gnarly. What can you do? Why is this so low level? Oh, because it's only obsidian and shit. Yeah, it's actually garbage. Oh, and also it's actually not garbage, it's elemental. Wait a minute. Anchor. Yours is a lot stronger, but you don't get the leech from it. Ah, fuck it. You're not a true orc. This guy's a true orc. Orc, orc. Orc, orc, orc. Although, he doesn't really... I hate this image! Ah! That wolf looks stupid, too. I hate this game. I'm gonna uninstall it. <laughs> Are we crafting anything still? Yes, we are crafting some jewelry. I'll let them finish that. Someone might be able to upgrade. Hey, we can get uh, forgotten material. Yum. And then now we only need golem leather. Oh, never mind. We still need moonstone. So I need three, six, nine. 12 points. I don't care about these. I don't care about the in secret alloy. Or the pristine matter. The life root. The well, life root is pretty light, but gold branches, wooden stone materials. This guy is gem and wood. But this is also gem and wood, and it's the wild type, so this has more essence, so it's better than the life fruit. Sure, the trash chance is higher, but that's why we have high level crafters to lower the trash chains. Uh, yeah. Some people might say that you have a problem. Finally got to the strip. What the fuck was that? What, Root Dog? Root Dog died. It was a very sad moment, but we had to, we had to part from Root Dog. Cause he was fucking useless. <laughs> uh, some people might say you have a problem, just say yes I do, I need help, I wanna install a bunch more mods. Hey, that's literally what I had when I played Dreamworld. I just couldn't fucking stop! <laughs> because there are so many good mods. And you're like, ah, that could be fun, that could be fun, that could be fun. Oh, this one has like four prerequisites. Alright, put them on as well. Oh, that could be fun. Oh, there's an entire mod pack that looks fun. And then suddenly you have 400 mods and it's like, yay. <laughs> uh, learn from your mistakes, you finish this run first. But afterwards, with all your mods, the quests add up to 400. I mean, not all quests are long. Unless all of those 400 modded quests are like long quest chains. Maybe you will become a slave. All you will do is play New Vegas forever, not touching any other game because you will not have any time. What the fuck is that? Was it sounding like you pissed in a bottle? Oh, I was pouring water. <laughs> I was pouring water from my penis into a bottle, and then I drank it. Mmm. One more turn. They want me to pour pee-pee pee -pee again. There you go. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I forgot someone has a curse on them. The fucking orc has a curse on them, I think. We will sell some food. That's why we have a lot of food. Get some pierogies. Thank you. Alright, the thing is done. 
and it's decent quality, 14.5. I'm definitely going to prioritize weirdos with books. But that is actually garbage to you. He could also be prioritized. Ooh, yeah. You have a shield, so you don't need to be prioritized. Although you have the high hypnotize, that's why you have a shield. 12.5, 12.5. You, that is garbage. That is good. It's good. That is better than that. Oh, yeah. Finally, Petula gets a better ring. Ooh, that is also garbage. Wow. Oh my god. My main characters have worse gear than the newcomers. What the shit. That guy has the stat ring. This fucking ghost is also... Honestly, Ghost of Blubber 3, I might put it back to the den. It's kind of shit. It's, it's not really good. To places like this. Did the guy just say fuck you in the song? Oh no, he's saying get funky. What the fuck? <laughs> get funky. <laughs> what? I don't want to get funky. Whatever that means. He sounds... Nasty. Can I craft obsidian gathering tools? No, but I can make obsidian crafting tools. Funky. Also, hold on, can I bake obsidian without coal? Oh no, I need coal. But I have 40 coal. I could just sit here, gather obsidian and immediately bake it into pure stone. Hey, LMAO. Because why not? Until we use up our coal. Don't burn the fucking wood. Ew, that sounds nasty. Fruit and mushroom baked into it. The, the cake. Ugh. You know what? No. Let's just sit. You had sex with Santiago in Atomic Wrangler? And at the end, the sound of disintegration played, and then he was on the bed horizontally, so at the first, he thought that he died during it? Maybe he was thrusting his hips so fast, he his dick burned up. And that was the disintegration sound. Yeah. He rubbed his penis so hard that it burned up. We killed the trolls that killed Root Dog. Revenge. We exacted revenge. It's summertime. We harvested 25 grain. That's beautiful. And it's windy again. This fucking game and wind. It's obsessed with wind. You know why I think it's obsessed with wind? Because it does give us more sea movement. And maybe they increased the wind chance the, in the previous big update, the uh, the wind update, or the water update. So that players can move around faster on the seas. Because, you know, Gosk Smite, all the pirates, you know, if you want to explore all pieces of the sea, get all the treasures, right? That's my conspiracy conspiracy theory at least that it's fucking intentional this guy needs more headbutting but he's gonna actually he's gonna get more headbutting because now we have an extra orc who can just be strong so Mislav can work on more intelligence ah man so I'm gonna stuff my pockets with obsidian and TP back to the den. And after that, we craft up some good stuff. And then we set sail to uh, get the fourth and last piece of the map. So we can advance with that. 
goddamn wind just never stops. The body's not level four. Ooh, look at that, Queen Bee. Queen of the Hive, fiercely territorial, protective of her brood. I want the Queen Bee. Although they're also goddamn useless at this point. Man. What the hell is this thing? Give it some food. You asshole. Our food. Instead of just being a pacifist in the playthrough, you'll try to do things in a way that have the worst results for everyone, or most people. So you're just gonna be a cowardly asshole. Who runs away from every fight, but at the same time stirs shit constantly. Bam! That's messed up. I'll tell you that. Just like IRL. <laughs> hey! I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, you're not that bad. I think. Oh, my water! I need another another type of water. Mm. I have so much water around me, I'm loaded. Ooh. Ooh sure. Cause forty coal is forty times two pure stone, so you should be able to craft up 80 pure stone and that will be enough to make one building <laughs> that will be enough to actually can I replace the totem with pure stone I should be able to right oh baby I can and we actually have enough wait a minute we should do that right now to get the maximum totem what would that even be if it would be anything what it does round up because it does it gives me the uh the plus three gathering range however i think the god's branch would be yeah it literally gives nothing extra even the gathering and crafting rounds up so the pure stone is actually good enough because that point two goes into 90. so technically it's not enough but eh. Cool. Don't want to waste my thing, so begin into ritual. Slam the bones there. The stones there. What the hell was that noise? Was that from the music? Holy shit! It scared me for a second. I'm gonna burn up a lot of grain. Replace this idol. And these assholes can go and uh, I don't know. suck at research I'm gonna put the goddamn ghost of blubber back here because ghost of blubber 3 was the one I'm constantly researching because they're better they're decent they're, well they're decent at research at least we have eight more coal so we can we can do a little more here sit around and after that we just collect a bunch of obsidian as well and then TP back home although I could still look at the very corner of the map here might find something even better pirate orc mm. now get that argument thing it'll be really funny if when you drank from a urinal there was a random chance for a notification to appear you have contracted hiv i mean if you have a cut in your mouth and it goes into your bloodstream then sure doesn't it have to go into your bloodstream? Also, does HIV go with pee? I don't think it goes with pee. It needs some other bodily fluids like cum, pre cum, blood. I don't think it goes with pee. But I mean, if someone jerks off into a urinal in a public place, I mean, 
That's nasty. I don't know, man. I don't think it would be uh, funny. I just realized that you, you said it would be funny. Like, why the fuck would that be funny? <laughs> Wait, why would you want to drink from a urinal? What the fuck? Why do you think about these things? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, we got some more coal. Three more, so we can make six more pure stone. Beautiful. Nasty but possible. Oh. Hey, you know what? It might already exist. It might already be a thing IRL. That random notification might actually pop up if you do that, but it only has a very slim chance probably, like 0, 0.0 something chance. Plus, I imagine most urinals don't have HIV uh, infected garbage on them. So you also have to find a urinal that is absolutely just the most vile fucking thing. And then lick it all over, right? I mean, hey, maybe... Maybe test it out. <laughs> Don't, but yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Why are we even... Oh my god, this bitch is slow. Why are we even talking about this? Parry. Minuscule extra shielding. It's still more than nothing, so... You know. Once it's maxed out, it's like an extra 10 shielding for everything, which is good because at least it gives them some purple shielding as well. Oh, I thought the game froze for a second. And I think I know why. They replaced the idol. Oh, look at that. We can gather fish and seaweed. Oh. Not you, not you. The rats will go and gather the seaweed. <laughs> Look at that. We reached the sandstone. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, we do reach the sandstone. Yay, that's cool. Don't reach the dark stone, but we do reach the dryad wood. One, two, three, four. So I could get some research and unlock that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nyeh. That will never be ours. But we got this too as well. Look at that. Super cool. Awesome sauce. Which means now we have fish and seaweed on the menu as well. So we can update our food. Fish. With berries. Fish cake. We can also do fish. And I still don't want the herbs on there because that still only comes from the witch's heart. Although we have a lot of it. Uh, we can do fish with berries again, but it's a plum roast, a different kind of plum roast. We can do fish and berry. Oh no, not berries. And grain. Fish pierogies. <coughs> we can do uh, seaweed fish. Which is sushi. We can do seaweed meat. Which is a different kind of sushi. We can do seaweed salad. Nasty. We can do... Uh... Did I do this? Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. It's only the seaweed stuff. And we did... With the sushis, we did the salad, yeah. Um, we can do... Seaweed, fruit, veggie bag. Look at that shit! Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen types of cooked food, plus the... Uh, I don't even know how many raw food. One, two, three, four, five types of raw food. You have 18 types of food. Easy 100% morale from here on out. You know what? Everybody just gather the shit out of fish and uh, seaweed. 
gather up a thousand of both of them and then we start crafting into the uh, these types of food as well so they can eat fish now and they can eat seaweed so that's 11 already we don't even need to craft those types of foods but we will because we can so why not Clap. Uh, keep looking at urinals and you're like, why the hell can you drink from them? Because it's post-apocalyptic. You know, maybe they don't know they are urinals. Maybe they think that the uh, the world was kind of weird and that they had all sorts of sinks everywhere. I don't know. Drank from a toilet to or a urinal like three times. Justified it as the bullet fucking with my brain. <laughs> you turned into a dog. <laughs> Maybe that's why you recruited the dog as well. You felt like they were you. Or at least more like you than the humans. Excellent pressed E thingy and just piss or something. <laughs> no, you don't pee pee in, uh, in Bethesda games. Although New Vegas is Obsidian, but. Eh. Assume the bullet fucked with the natural instincts. <laughs> You suddenly feel an urge to drink from the urinal. It must have been the bullets doing. <laughs> oh. Bro, it's getting, it's getting summer here, man. I don't like it. Ugh. When you do your pacifist run, you will actually just not have any weapons on you. <laughs> hey, that's what you call an unarmed build. You just beat people to death with your fists. That's how men do it. <laughs> It's a manly way of going about it, I guess. Wonder if the dialogue with the guys that take your weapons will change? What guys? Oh, at the casino? I don't think so. You will just not have any weapons to give. You will keep your holdout weapons. Your fists. A boar. That boar got aborted. All boars will be aborted. Alright, let's check the amount of obsidian we have. And it's not much, but we have almost a hundred pure stone. So you know what? It's good enough for now. We are close to being fat. Then again, that doesn't uh, lower our movement by much and we can still teleport so you know let's get this train oh the air around you gets hotter the ground trembles and guys ears of hot lava shoot out all around yeah is there instincts to lead away through the lava pits my instincts oh that's actually pretty dope hey and they also liked it nice lava pits that's the pits i say Oh, look at all that. F Actually, it's not very good to have this all this food lined up because all of them will always appear on the side. Wish there was a way to turn this shit off. Uh. Yeah, the options are trash. Thanks, Unity Engine. Yes, more speed for Bunny Man. Although Bunny Man is super weak, actually. I want everybody on at least highest tier medium armor for the end game. 
Although we've been in the endgame for like, what, 300 turns, so... <laughs> Search this place carefully. Search this place. We don't need to follow the tracks. I don't care about the Taken. They don't even exist anymore. We killed every Lightbringer so far. Would be cool if it did change me something like I don't have any weapons. Yeah, sure, man. Just give me all your weapons. I really don't have any weapons. Stop fucking with me. And they kill you because they... They don't believe you? I don't know. Do a low intelligence run. Instead. One intelligence. Ten charisma. You're stupid sexy. <laughs> Although I don't think low intelligence run is as fun in Fallout New Vegas as in the first two Fallout games. And again, I've never done a low intelligence run in New Vegas. Because you barely get any fucking points on level up and that's annoying. Lotter Arc. Lotter. Oh, we could actually jump onto the Elven Islands from here. Wait, we don't have a boat anymore? I left my boat at the base. Both boats are at the base. Oh my god, I left my boat. My ship. Oh, me. Well, you know what that means. Oh, time to teleport back home. Use up the seaweed because we don't actually care about it anymore. And we can barely use all this. Actually, use the fur leather because it's shit. Yeah. Teleport, Mario! Mario! Mario movie was actually kind of okay. It wasn't a haha, but it was okay. And people were absolutely debated by fucking Chris Pratt's. Uh, uh, leaked, <coughs> leaked voice acting, because that's not how it was in the movie. They actually put on some accents. It was decent. I also fell for the debate. Man. Alright, everybody. Huddle up. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at all that loot. Encumbrance. This village does not go anywhere anytime soon. That's for sure. Okay, let's craft some shit. So who needs what? You are okay. Better jewelry wouldn't be bad. The rat can go and fuck itself. Actually, take that off because someone can can benefit from it. Bunny man. Bunny man was. Bunny man. Bunny man is trash. What the fuck? Okay, we need to make better medium robes. You don't matter. You are going to stay here, so you don't matter either. You got some good stuff. Yeah. You're staying here, so you don't matter. I don't... This goddamn rat is super tanky for everything. Which means they will get a better robe. Actually, they can get heavy, heavy armor. Holy shit. This guy is cool. It's super cool, Herbert. You're staying here so you don't matter. But so far we need some more jewelry. Better jewelry is what we need for a lot of people. This guy is also staying here so he doesn't matter because we can just craft his stuff at our leisure. Miss Love needs a better heavy armor. Or just medium. Look at this. He's He had this fucking armor since like turn 100 or some shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. This thing is shit as well. Okay, we need better armor for the mains. And better jewelry for the mains. Um, yeah, this guy should get some two-handed, but honestly I don't care. So he's just gonna stay the way he is. This guy... Yeah, better armor again. 
But yeah, she got mostly all diamond things, but then they got changed. She's okay. Better armor, better javelin. Why the fuck do you have so much better stuff than Mislav? What the hell? Yeah, it's the case of the newcomers have so much better stuff. They actually have... Okay, fuck you. They have better things than the... Uh, than the old guard. Okay, so we need to make a bunch of jewelry again. And... And then we'll see what else. 14. Break it out of Dragonbone, it's worse, of course. But I can make it out of Obsidian, and then it's... It's just there. We don't have enough fucking thingies. I guess I'll make some of that. Then we're gonna make some heavy armor out of, uh, I don't know, metal composite and... Sexy bones. Yeah, that's pretty good. Someone could take that. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I need one more metal composite. We can cook that up though, so that's fine. I'm not gonna convert that. We need to cook up some mithril. And we can... We have gold. We have. Good, 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 good. Alright, someone needs to cook up some... some meth oil. Uh, someone needs to cook up some uh, metal composite out of meth oil, please. Yeah, that's not good. Well, that's gonna be that. Which means this will be okay, actually. Let's keep the... Where is the... Where is the old woman? Hold on. Get the fuck off of there. There you, there you go! Holy shit! That's, that's the, oh my god, that's disgusting, I love it. I craft some medium armor out of uh, mythical leather. I shouldn't really waste mythical leather, because I should craft it all into combat leather, so you know what? You know what? Let's cook up all our things into better stuff. So let's make all the mythical leather into combat leather. All the dragon bones into rune bones. Oh yeah, the game is chugging now. All that garbage into pure stone. Oh ho ho. Yeah. Alright. Turn. Easy. It put low intelligence in your short bad person run, didn't do shit. Oh. Oh that sucks. Bam. Missed opportunity, I say. Although the writing is already expensive enough that you... You don't really miss that. But, you know. Still. It was kind of a staple of the Fallout games. Obsidian did that in Outer Worlds, though, so... You can do a low low int run in that, although that game kinda sucks compared to New Vegas. There's literally no replayability. None whatsoever. Every single voice actor to account for that and every single yeah, it's just for the just for the memes, it's actually a pretty big undertaking. 
Just put a bunch of extra lines and voice lines into that, yeah. Then again, that would raise the quality of the game even more. Ooh. Orc. Oh, look at that, almost 1,000 turns. Listen to the trumpet go! Holy shit, it's like an elephant in the room. Oh my god, no, don't do that. Nasty, don't do that, no. Yuck. Yuck. Alright, so we melted all of our tier 2s. Got tier 3s. Nice. Did this thing think. We didn't melt our diamonds down because we didn't have any. On all grand gems. I could also slowly make the leather into uh, that other leather and then that into mythical leather, but it's kind of a waste. Um, so yeah, now we don't have a lot of anything again. What do we have a lot of? Nothing. We have a lot of rune bow bones, actually. Uh, we have a lot of pure stones. Not a lot of sacred wood. Not a lot of crystal wood. Um, so we can do something with stone, bone, and that's about it. Stone bone, which can be heavy armor. Super bone and super stone. Oh, they are in the same category. Huh. I can use super wood. Whoa! Oh, look, sanity with shielding. That could be good for mislove. It's trash. What if I use. Oh, we don't have good stuff for this. But I could use cool. Cool stone. Ooh. Almost good enough. 20, 220 it would be good, but... I would need more metal composite for that. And even then it doesn't reach, so screw that shit. We're gonna make one of this. So there goes our wood. Javelins. Javelins can be made out of bone. Sex bone. Uh, sex bone. 1.8. Ooh. 1.5. But it's got that 100% leech for shields and 80% as health. Or 40% health, 50% shields. Ooh. I kind of want to have a pure javelin of. Maximum arousal. Let's just make it on 1.8. E. And the other ring. Oh yeah, the other ring would have to have the. Uh... Would this be good enough? No. Would this be good enough? No. Would this be good enough? No. Oh, this would be good. I can make this. I can make the full-on maxed out other ring. I'll actually do that. Yeah. 21% chance that it's trash. Okay, I'm not gonna take that chance because I can't remake it. I don't think if I break it, I, get, I don't think I get the Cosmic Seed back. Because I have the worst uh, reclaim percentages 
set in the difficulty, so screw that shit. Wait, what happened to her uh, crafting? She used to have like a thousand and one hundred. What happened to that shit? Is she hurt now? Actually, we should do the uh, gift of fire. I can do the gift of fire and the mental blessing. And after that, we craft. I'm using my brain cells. Apparently there are some exclusive one intelligence lines. Yeah, but I imagine not a lot of them. Might do a charming moron in some run in that case. You'll call a character Joy. <laughs> I understand that reference. It's from, uh, it's from Arrested Development, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a thousand crafting is what we really want to aspire for. Oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna min max that, because these blessings only last like one turn, so I would have to do them every fucking turn to get the best out of them. I don't care. Even one intelligence skill checks? I know there is a, a lock 7 skill check in the, uh, the Robco facility, I think, where you guess the password for the uh, floor, and it's Ice Scream. You need seven luck, but I'm not. I don't, I don't really know any of the other things. What does this asshole need? Oh, just just nothing. Destiny and wisdom. Hmm. You know what? Get destiny because we already had a have a pretty good yellow, and no one. Honestly, the hardest challenge that comes the den's way is that asshole Striga mistress. And it's purple, so yeah, let's get Destiny. On the people that stay, so they can beat the mistress's ass when she comes back. Alright, craft that thing. And after that we check what we still need. We could also make some more... Uh... Actually, we should make some better artifacts. I could use up the uh, Forgotten Essence. To make a decent artifact. Forgotten Essence and Combat Leather. What would that give me? 2.1 plus flat. The bunch of extra destiny and yellow and purple shielding. Oh, that is perfect. Choking fog, I don't like it because it hurts everybody. And steals and deals full damage. Screw that. This is pretty good though. Forgotten artifact. What if I make it out of fully fucking thingy? Oh it's garbage. It looks like shit too. Twelve percent chance that it's trash. We'll take that. What else? What else? What else? Could try for some cool shield. Um, use a grand gem over there, and we could use some room bow. Nineteen. Twenty-two. Seventy-seven weight. Oh! Two movement speed. Holy shit! That looks cool as fuck. It's not much lighter, so let's make one of that. Just to give a little extra for my characters before I set sail. Also, the Striga is coming back. But they are in for a nasty surprise if they attack. Everybody's home, bitch. Nah. Dead. 
Legion 4 gives you for killing the guy. Oh yeah, uh, the Legion does forgive you once. Like, there, if even if you go to the absolute lowest uh, reputation with the Legion, there's a point where they give you the uh, Kaiser's Mark and it resets your reputation with them, but it only does it, does it once. If you piss them off after that, they won't, they won't give you a third chance. Extra perception, sure. I still don't know what to think about this Berserker class. It's kind of niche. A little too niche, in my opinion. Ooh. Intelligence and Destiny, okay. I'll take it, it's an upgrade. There's an offline multiplayer. Oh, oh, online multiplayer, really? Can do the story in with other players and then you're just curious what that's like? Someone made a functioning multiplayer for New Vegas? I like that. Oh, look at this showing off. Let's make it even better. I'm going to look that up. Right now. Ugh. Multiplayer.com. Huh. Multiplayer framework modification of the popular Fallout title. Holy shit, and it's not not just two player. You can have like what? Four, five people? What? The fuck? Five player multiplayer. And looks like you have Fallout 3 in this as well. Or maybe it's just for the pictures, but that's fucking Megaton. That's Fallout 3. And this is the new Vegas thing. Talk the neck. We can sex each other up. Nice. So there's pictures. And then there is either installation or visit our Discord. What happens if I click install? It supports the tale of two wastelands. Ah, oh, so that's why there was the picture of uh, Megaton. I see. Public server has 40 people. They have public servers? Holy shit. Completely fresh Fallout, new Vegas install. Delete every file in your Vegas folder and install it new. Wish to install any extra mods, do it after fully setting up multiplayer. .NET framework is needed, Visual C++ obviously, these are needed. I like how the game in the background is still registering my cursor. Fucking Unity engine, am I right? <laughs> Wonder what happens if I click. Okay, so nothing happens if I click, but it still <laughs> sees my cursor! Ooh, That's kinda cool. I will definitely bookmark this. Look at it later. Yes. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Bob. Maybe I can be the gun to your sneaky person, you know? Remember that thing I said about having multiple things happening at the same time? Yes. What did you find? Oh, they're one done with the crafting. Oh boy, look at all these fancy... What the fuck? Get out of here. <laughs> look at all these fancy things. Alright, so first and foremost, my chosen... Must be new here. Let's see. Let's see. What what your oh my god, your your thing is shit. Now it's better. What's your armor? 20.4 with 28% extra health. Well this would be a big upgrade. Do you have anything that's 
Yes, you do. You have purple ghostly axe. And you're also a goddamn demon now, so... This would be nice. It's not so much because you don't have... Actually, you do have yellow, but it's weak compared to the thingy. So definitely we want her to stay on red and purple. Holy shit, 61. Flat amounts. 110. 110, 104.51 and lower thingy, so this is better. Okay. The Chosen got buffed. Actually, they could get the pure javelin as well. So it loses the, uh, the cross-shaped attack. And it's a little slower. 40% of hit points, 50% of shields. 50% uh, of shields and doesn't have hit points. I will rather get the... Uh, this. A little stronger. Cool, cool. Now we go to Mislove, the bandit, because he's... <laughs> so he's red and yellow because of his strength and his intelligence and headbutt, although his intelligence is garbage, so he's mostly red. This is for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby. His weapon is still okay. So he's sad. I guess Petula is the next. Petula. Petula. She can inherit this because it's the same thing. Although this one has health and shield. It's only a shield. But it's a little stronger and faster and it has the cross shape. Ooh. She's got the ghost axe. So this is cool for her. Link. Ah, oh, this guy can get this. Perfect. 25, Snowvid. Snowvid is... Yeah, Snowvid's got good shit. Oh, Snowvid could get the shield. Although, weaker characters should get the shield. Like this guy. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Noise. Are you an orc? No. Wait, what is this? Master Inventor. Oh, he turned into a master. From that uh, learning thing. I don't think he had this before. That's cool. Personal carry limit. Alright. That's a little better. And that's 11 for everything. Sure, buddy. Although he's... Ah, uh, he has some yellow, but it's fine, I guess. Oh yeah, min-max. So we have a diamond, shitty diamond robe. Yeah, these guys have pretty cool things. Ah, uh, the rat can die. Oh, Zoslava. You have... That's decent. Or health is shit, but what can you do? Alright. I could look at the, uh, you know, this, but I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, these should be melted down. These are kind of garbage at this point. Although, this could still be better. Oh, yeah. Little less health, but overall, the percentage will be better than a flat base. Health. 14. Dude. Where's the shield on you? 
trash. This is also trash. They got buffed. This guy stays home. This guy comes with us, but he already has buffing. Though this thing is better. This guy stays. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's definitely an upgrade. That's not really an upgrade. That's... Mm. What's his main? Main thing. Yellow and purple. He needs a better artifact. That's what he needs. I made a better one, actually. This... Oh, he could have this. Who has one-handed artifacts? You don't want that. Hmm. 18 wisdom. This guy had ma has mad wisdom. Oh yeah, this is better. Holy shit. Superb. Physical shielding? Why the hell? 6 and 6 and 7. This would be better shielding for his, uh, you know, what he actually uses. Because he's not taking part in physical. He's got yellow, he's got healing, he's got purple. This and this are his only red. So yeah, he doesn't take part in red. So the better uh, mental shielding is, your, is good for him. This thing sucks. Could make him a new weapon. Um, what is this thing? 1.8. 1.8. Let's go purple. Purple is better for her. Alright, what else? What else is These are all garbage. They should all be just broken down. So, you know what? That's kind of an okay buff for most people. The three strongest, you know, core people finally got the upgrade. Look at this guy. He can actually go 1v1 or captains. And his weapon is okay. Yeah. This guy stays. This guy is okay. This guy could get a better artifact. Although that one is leech. Better shielding. That's good. That's, that's one-handed? Oh, that's one-handed. It's actually shit. Oh yeah, Gram Grams. Gram Grams has good stuff as well. The ghost is going to stay, so it's fine. Ew, what the fuck? Look, even she had a better armor than some of the main people. That is... dumb. Oh yeah, Bunnyman is the one coming with us as well. He got the Mithril Javelin. 27. Yeah, that's okay. Rat, we don't care about, and what about Anchor? Better shielding. 90 physical, that's pretty good. This is mainly physical, so it doesn't really care about anything else. Okay, we're done. Honestly, all of this I'm just gonna melt down because it's all just trash. And we set out on a new journey. A journey to the seas. Uh, Gramgrams, Herbert, Lotterark, the Mains, the Science Man, more rats. Sexy girl, dog, yeah, healer, obviously, the tainted one, holy shit, that's a lot of people. And I leave, oh yeah, I leave the ghost in here, yeah, 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 that's good. So now they can easily kill the thingies, so now I can get rid of both of the rats, because the undead is here. So the rats are not needed, I'm going to get rid of them. Actually, I'm going to get rid of them on the sea... Nah. 
Nah, they will just wander off into the darkness or some shit, I don't care. You found this one mod and, and get this. It allows you to play with multiple people at the same time. So it turns into a group braced thing. Is it still real time? Or does it give you the opportunity to, uh, to turn it into XCOM, basically? Yeah, that's kind of cool. A bunch of herbs. Three, 13 types of food for like 120 turns, 130 turns. Hey, good enough. What else do we want to take? So since we are going to go around on boat, we don't really care about teleporting, so... It should be fine. Expedition 1. We are away, and we are a, a tiny bit too fat, but that's gonna go down as we eat the food anyway, so it's fine. Doesn't decrease our movement by too much. And the den is going to resume operations. Which means they're going to research. And... They're gonna start crafting up the uh, the food items. I can do five different stuff. One, two, three, four, five. That's the fake sushi. Sure. Works for me. I'm gonna do a big save because it did some min maxing. I don't want to, for some reason, lose that. Actually, I'm going to send the rats away. Actually, just one rat. Yet another one. 45, 27, 39. 45, 27, 39. Okay, yet another one. Relinquish your items. Garbage, anyways. It's all garbage. Then he can go into the night. Hungry. Then again, he's undead. He doesn't need food. Go. Get torn up by these scavengers or something, I don't care. Fuck off. It's not even showing up on the map, because it's, it's trash. Oh no, it's facing off a boar! Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. One v one me, boar. You pussy. Come on. We are so fucking fast that the boar is not even going... We can actually beat the boar, because it's slow. Look at this! Bear! Oh, not bear. Rat. Rat power. Look at this. Two hits. Boing, boing. <laughs> oh my god, he's not dying and he now has food. <laughs> Yet another one does not quit. It's real time, but actually not sure if the mod is still active. Real time and you control multiple people at once? How do you do that? Like, do you go into like... Like a top-down view? And you just draw a box around them and you click? Uh, I don't think that's... Necessary. If you turn it into more like a tactical thing, that would be kind of interesting, but also not really necessary, but... I mean... It's something. Oh no, look at these rats. These are also unliving rats, but they are super weak. Fighting these, it's kind of a shame that I'm throwing him away. So I, I have to keep reminding myself that he's absolutely useless against the main enemies that we go up against at this point. Which have like 100 damage per fucking hit or something. No, he's dead. Oh, flat zero. Wait, the music is gone. I didn't really queue up a lot of songs or albums today, so 
Now we just put the uh, Cult of the Lamb on repeat because I love it. <laughs> oh, he immediately dies! No! Maybe the game will recognize that we are losing uh, villagers. Maybe it will give me a child that I can take to the water demons to drown. And get another Rusaka. Uh, 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 uh. You know? <laughs> going into the edge of the world. I'm actually going to save. The rat is fucking dead. We misunderstood each other. I guess it's actually kind of exhausting with all the things you can find and explore. Eh, not really. Because when you're doing it for the first time, it's all fun and games, you know? You're like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's that? At least that's how I figured when I played. Everything was, wow, awesome. We meet and understood each other? What do you mean? Which one? What did I read wrong? Like the real-time thing? I don't know. Explain it to me with... With small words, you know? So I can understand. The exhaustive part is mostly just the amount of quests to do. Well... I mean... You don't have to do them. You can portion them out over multiple playthroughs. If you want. Holy shit! Oh, we can actually do that easy. Oh my god, Igneous Battle Axe! That is... Oh my god! That's trash. That's trash. That's trash. They give two movement speed, but... Only for the wielder. Only to the wielder, and you know, the ghost... Can't have... I Actually, wait, I got rid of the ghost. Hold on. Then again, no, not everybody is going to wield shields. The orcs are not going to wield shields. The book wielders are not going to wield shields, yeah, so these are shit. Wow, we don't need that. 3.1. Hey, that's the that's the upgrade for Snowvid's club. It gets a better axe. And that thing is super good looking. Treasure you find. Such enclosed man-made spaces is foul. Dive. Well, now I kind of feel silly for gathering all that shit. I just immediately found some cool stuff. Alright, Snowvid. Get ready. Where are you? There you are. Look at this thing. Doesn't have the AoE anymore, but... Double damage, more than double damage. Same speed, kind of. <laughs> it's an axe. 38, 20. Oh, this thing is trash now, officially. <laughs> Okay, so this one has less leech. 150... Oh, actually... 150% extra damage if armor. And this is... Both shield and health for the full damage of the amount each. Okay, that's better. And returns 100% of the damage of shields. Okay, that's still better. Even though this would almost deal double damage. This does... Effectively deal double damage already. Because if something has shields... It deals 61 damage to the shields and then 61 damage to health as well. And this could be stopped by a very high shielding amount. But this cannot, so that's cool. However, Lotter Orc has a lot worse weapon. So this returns nothing. It doesn't have any leech. This one does have leech. Both shielding and health. I like the leech more than the true damage. However, the amount of damage on this is shit. Like 50% of it, it returns like what, 20, 20 health? Which is not bad, but 
we need heavy heating, so get that. Although this is AoE as well. Maybe actually I might give this to Anchor. He's already Oh no, he he went into uh, hammers. But that one has no leech, no true damage, nothing. So you know what? Yeah, he's he's gonna go with that. I have a big axe, and this going to this guy is going to go for this. Break this shit. Yeah, that will be okay. And then we're gonna move away from these titted ladies. I don't want anything from you. Free. It's once again referring to the multiplayer mod. Oh, I think it would be nice. Perfect solution. They are want for multiple things happening at the same time. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I get it now. Wait, because the players are not restricted to areas. So what happens if someone goes into a, a loading screen area? Like they go into the uh, Nipton Town Hall, for example. The others can just roam around. Like one person can just gamble at New Vegas. While someone is in the Nipton Town Hall, someone is at the uh, Kaiser Bunker. Can you do that? Can you also do different uh, um, alliances? Like in uh, Divinity Original Sin, you know, where during multiplayer you don't necessarily have to work towards the same goal. Which is a pretty fun thing the game has. What the fuck is this? Is that just an island? Oh, it's a, it's a thing. I'm kind of afraid to touch these. They're so high level. But hey, we gotta... Oh, never mind. There's not some efficient seaweed. Not even seaweed. They're off the fucking map. Wait, what happens if we just keep going this way? Kinda wanna see. No pun intended. Orc! Line charge. Red of War. Intelligence, because they do have showing off. Some people are like, you heard there was some shootout in the casino? And I'm like, nope, never heard of it, not at all. Why would anyone do that? <laughs> eh. Imagine that's how it works. Have to watch a video of it? Yeah. So there's no decent description on how the mod goes. What the f fuck? <laughs> Bad rolls. Oh, it's not letting me do anything. But a shipwreck investigated. Looks like the ship was caught in a storm and hit the rocks, but oddly, you do not see any floating bodies, blood, or signs of the sea beast scavenging the area. The ship is eerily silent and empty. Search it. The ship is empty and quiet. No cobwebs, not even rats seem to roam the decks. And you hear a rumbling in the slave cargo hold. <gasps> Can we get an elf slave? Oh. Amongst the unnatural racket, you also hear a very quiet song. It is a sad melody, sung by someone who is running out of strength. Holy shit. Holy shit! You enter the cargo hold and see a lone elf. Ah! Chained to the wall by and barely alive. They are surrounded by a circle made of old runes, like a protective spell. Likely a protective spell. You also see many rotten bodies of pirates, slaves and beasts, all torn apart. Amongst them are a few large corpses of dragons. One of them is looking at you. It's an unliving dragon. On a boat. How big is this fucking boat? Uh, face them with spirits so their foul magic may be banished. Are we just gonna face tank the fucking dra FOUR OF THEM?! Okay, look at that. They are a lot better with spiritual. Look at that. Twice as much spiritual heal health. They have a very large shielding for physical. But their mysticism is... Uh, on par or more than their strained. So physical might be the easier way to go. What the fuck? Is that a shit? That's a grand relic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Some of these I've never even seen. Like, what the fuck are these? A crab! And also that. <laughs> okay, some of these things are trash, but hey. 
Did anybody get hurt? No. We can just murder ten or murder four unliving dragons. Easy. Even though just one dragon was looking at us. Mm -hmm. Garbage. Ooh. Garbage. 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 Ooh. Garbage. We don't use pole arms. We don't use the spears either. Ah, uh, that's garbage. What is that? That might be good. Dinner for two. Look at that. Spiky shield. Garbage. Uh, garbage. Okay. Actually, most of these are actual trash. Oh, what is this? Quartz Club. Garbage. Ask them to come with you. They are grateful and pledge to remain with you for the time being. I got an elf slave. I can sell them to the pirates. Or I can just drown them. Right now. Right now, I'm just gonna... Shove them out. <laughs> oh wait, I broke everything, so they're going to be naked. That's okay. <laughs> oh wait, my chat reconnected. Hello? Is everything okay? Oh. Okay, stream is still going. Hmm. Seems alright. Alright. Both the browser chat and the OBS chat reconnected, so that's why I just... I don't know why they do that, honestly. 2.8 strength and 2.8 wits. Yup, that's going to the pirate, man. <laughs> Look at the cutoff of the crab, it looks so bad when you're like holding it. Oh no! It's a head crab! Cool. Wait, hold on. Put that away. We got this guy. He doesn't like one-handed stuff because he's half orc. He's actually half orc pirate. Radomir is the son of Anchor. Oh my god. So they might like this thing. 40 damage versus 33. 28 versus 22. Both of them are AoE. That one has a cross attack as well. Better shielding? Yeah, this is good. And he gets more shielding as well, because... You know, he gains the uh, passive back. And this is shit compared to that. Yeah. 44, 39, 39. 3 and 46, 46, yeah. And he doesn't care about physical. Got poison dagger, but... Uh, it's not gonna use it. The elf can get the one-handed shit. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, please. Give me a shmoo. Hey. Oh, look, that's an elven shield for the elf. Elven slave. Oh yeah, I read this before. Yeah, yeah. They are... They're fucking trash. They are... Oh, we got a new tag, Woodfolk. And they're also beautiful and attractive, like every fucking person. they battle orders. Lifetime Servant. Heh. <laughs> Slave Elf. They're weak. We got a War Shout and Brush It Off. A Scary Limit, more Perception, Wits, and Movement Speed. <laughs> Master Laborer. Boots Force. Slave Mark. Can I get rid of this? Bum bum bum. So they are Perception and Wisdom. Interesting. So I guess this will be okay for them for now. The Destiny is also nice. Ish. Should we name the slave? Oh, that thing just spawned. Oh, a bunch of stuff just spawned. You going? Alright, Bob. Have fun with your... Wait, what's... Oh, it's... Oh, actually, you might be going to... To sleep. But still, have fun with your... 200 or 400 or however many mods you put on. <laughs> New Vegas. Goddamn. 
The number of mods is entirely too, too high. As I sail off the map, 4,000. That's gonna be the amount of hours it's going to take you to finish that. But it could still be pretty good. Alright, Moonstone. Yeah. Looks very ugly. Looks like a dung beetle's little ball that they make. You receive a letter. You have the three, fool. And I will seek me, and I do not wish to prolong this tedious encounter. I await you on my ship. Come, claim your treasure if you can. Gastetis. Not down the coordinates. Yeah, here we go. The final encounter. And they are right... Right there. Right off the map, just like we are. It's right there. They want us. Uh, you're going to save, because I'm afraid of this. The slave will die, but the slave is fine. Hello? Are you... Katniss Evergreen? Cat titties? We don't go away, what the fuck? What the fuck? You said, come meet me in my ship, and now you'll sail away. Sail away, sail away, sail away. You're gonna save if they move on us at the end of the turn and we get beaten, you know, you know what happens then. Half of the team is going to just die without me having any chance of saving them. What? Maybe they're searching for the treasure. They're just shadowing them. Oh shit. As you ply through the stormy patch on the seas, you are caught by an unexpected gust of wind that assails your deck, trying to get inside. Oh, it's the wind man again. Yeah, let's grab the wind man. Please take me to the land. Okay. Oh, it healed our faith as well. That's nice. Filth. Who named it filth? Jesus. That's a little too harsh, isn't it? Hello! Oh my god! This guy came out of Pirates of the Caribbean. When you approach Cat Titty's ship, a dark storm consumes both your vessels, as if the gods themselves were watching your meeting. The pirate ship stands silent and seemingly unmanned. Only a single figure stands on the deck, waiting. He definitely has a bunch of kraken just underneath the boat, waiting for the fight to ensue. And then they just tear us apart. Approach the other ship to speak to the figure. The figure, you now realize, is not is only part human. Most of his body is mutated, twisted and changed with seaweed, driftwood, shells and other sea aspects. His eyes look old and tired, and his voice is slow and measured. Tell me, Chosen, how did you find the first piece? Attack! <laughs> we can just fucking... In the name of Zoria, die! No, then we find it by accident and that the others thought it belonged to some drunkard. Ah, Vrobel, yes. So he managed to cheat fate and pass on the map without confronting you. How like him. And so you met the offspring of Nemoslav and a poor princeling who gave more than his heart. That one amused my lady most for the parallels, you see. Who are you? Who am I? A sad jest of the gods. A poor sod tricked by love. A loyal servant of the seas. More? Who knows? Cat Titty is the name. I do hold the final piece of the map, but I shall not give it to you unless you do me a favor first. Yes, you can join us. Come on, Cat Titties. I want him to join so I can name him Cat Titties. That's honestly all I want. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ask him to tell you more of his story. Why does he say he's a jest of the guns? Tell him you consider the task. No time for tasks. <laughs> it's 12. I mean, we easily did a 10 without getting hurt. 
Imagine if we could do a 12. We got two beastly orcs. Plus we got uh, Mislav with a good axe. Snowvid got good physical as well. We got the bandit archer. Our chosen. You know, we got Petula with decent weapons as well. Bunnyman is here as well with good physical. We got the Null Pup. Seeker. They actually have a fair amount of physicals that can do things. They have decent attack and decent health and shielding. And on top of that, if we still have space, we can put the uh, random last people in the back rows, you know. Paying a little more attention than last time. But I kind of fucked up the positioning and it cost me the ghost. <laughs> but let's, let's talk it out. Because why not? I want to see the writing of this game. I was once a man. Human, to be precise. A cliched story followed. And there goes my voice, so... Let's just read it. <laughs> I met a girl. <clears throat> she was sad. I sang to her and she loved my voice, so she came back each night to listen. But the gods did not appreciate her love, for the girl was one... Marked by them, a queen of the seas. What is this, Little Mermaid? Soon to be a goddess herself. And so I was to be taken by the very sea she loved. Or this is literally the fucking... What's his face? The, the, the kraken-faced dude from Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, that, that fairy tale. It's also, you know, some fairy tale. <clears throat> Jurasmet used a divine gift to rescue me, but damned gods were not done, so I was cursed to live as a tree growing on the edge of the sea. A tree? You don't look like a tree. I would swam in the waters, but I was never able to move to reach her. She in turn was locked in an underwater palace, chained there and changed into a beast to mock her beauty. A kraken? Her tears turned to amber. That's trash. Trash tear, trash tear gems, as she laments our fate. There, this is our story, or at least a part of it. How come you're not a tree anymore? I do not know, I woke some decades ago, my body changed, but, un but able to move once more. Perhaps the darkness broke my chains, or maybe the shattering of the world released the curse. I cannot, for I am free. Makes sense. When, where did you get the fucking headband <laughs> and the pains? Uh, what about the map? Can he tell you what treasure it hides? Why he has, he has a piece? Gosk's might, the power to rule the seas. That's the myth, but undoubtedly it is an object of power and likely a treasure to go with it. Gosk, as far as I know, was an old sea captain or hero, and his city was sunken. It was a bloody obsession for all of us sea folk for centuries. Finally, my lady decided to split the map into four pieces and gave them to four people who she knew would neither work together nor easily kill each other. Thus the madness ceased. The One Piece. It must be real. <laughs> but it is always foretold that the Chosen would put the pieces together one day. Uh... Okay. Why did Jurismat have the map? Why didn't she give it to him if he wanted it? Yeah, let's interrogate this man. She claimed that it was not a treasure she wanted me to find. She would not say more, and I learned not to ask. Pfft. Ha! As consider the task, ask if the Blue Orc Pirates report to him, or to Jurasmat. Or we could ask him why he's not a tree again. We can loop- can we loop it? I don't want to. But what about the Orcs? Some are mine, some have other captains. Some do listen to the Queen still. But it is not within my purview to know the bigger picture. The sea spoke. It called us to us seafaring folk, faring. It told us to come here and to take the land, to take revenge of gods who abandoned us for land dwellers. And so we come, we take, such is our nature. But I digress too much. You can ask this of the queen once you aid me. Loop that bitch! <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> I'll consider your task. But I need to know what it is first. There's a seal that I need broken. It is on land, so I cannot go. Break it for me, and I shall give it give the map to you. Uh, that's it. Agree? Tell him you have seen pirates on land. Why can't he, why can't they do it? I do not trust them. I do not trust you either, but you need what I have, so trust is not necessary. What does the seal hold? It will release the last of my curse. It was hidden on land, so I could never go there. You know, if you could just get a bucket of uh, seawater and then another one, you could just hop between the buckets and put the put one bucket in front of the other. Hop, then grab the other bucket. You know, you, you know, Caribbean style <laughs> buckets. Uh, sure, but if he was a tree and now he's flesh again, why ha why can't he go on land? I became flesh, the sea became my domain. On land, my flesh turns to wood again. Buckets of seawater! <laughs> you stupid fuck! Sure, we'll do it. Good, I have marked you. When you reach the shore, any shore, step on land. In time, the place will show itself to you. Come back here when you are done, and I will reveal Jura Smut's castle to you. Okay. Oh, and he's fucking gone. And we are still off the map, so... I need to go somewhere. Any... Any land, he says. Well, we're gonna go to the ice lands. As you step on the solid ground, what? Oh, because we do have people on ground. I guess that's why this is triggered. That is bad, but also makes sense, but at the same time doesn't, because those people were not here. Whatever. Fix this! As you step on the solid ground, you suddenly know where to look for Catiddy's seal. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's convenient. I wanted to go to the ice place to farm some diamond. Oh wow, apparently I'm pretty high up. Can we get much higher? Ooh, elf slave leveled up. Hey, they can- oh wait, that's not the elf slave, this is the elf slave. Reliable argument, sure. Must be new here, should get more destiny? Uh, for energy disturb, I guess. Sure. Radomir, Radomir, what the fuck are you doing? Filth. Wisdom. I'm afraid to teleport because I don't know if the boat comes or not. Actually, it should come with us because it's cargo, right? Maybe you should just teleport. But yeah, I wanted to collect some diamonds, but I guess we won't do it. Because the thing is right there. Next to our home. I guess we can hit up some of these sea places on the way home, because they have some good stuff in them. I like the good stuff. Western parts, water demons, swim! Swim around the street creatures. Got some pure stone. Can also check out this water there. Probably full of uh, mermaids. Spot a blue arc pirate ship ahead. It seems to be caught in the last of a bad storm. Aid them by hauling their ship out of the storm. They may be pirates, but you will uphold sea traditions. Yeah. What the hell? The chat reconnected again. What are you doing, Twitch? Oh well. Oh, look at that. They gave us some armor. 
Holy shit, that hurts. Wait, why did we lose sanity? It was physical. Task is trying, but you managed to haul the ship to safety. The pirates are grateful and hand over some loot as payment. Convince them to give you a slave in return, too. Ooh, brutes. Look at that guy. I like turning to goddamn coral reef. Holy shit. All came misshapen oaths. The brutes are the muscle of the blue pirates. Not too smart, but brutal in combat. All blue pirates have undergone aquatic mutations over the centuries, most likely gifts from their master. The brutes seem to have fallen in a cauldron when said mutations were handed out. They look cool. And they basically have the same things. And a big club. They got a cooper, a boatswain, and two elf slaves. Okay, that's... okay. Bah, I be soft in me old age, but I accept. I, I be sending you one before we say a good wins. Another elf slave. Oh, a goblin? Yeah, we have a melting pot. Imagine the half-breeds, right? Time to get rid of the humans. They are weak compared to what these can become. La. <laughs> La. Little and fragile. Needs protecting where it can grow into an adult. 44 turns. It's a goblin. Rituals and research. Trash. They have reliable arguments, so I'll definitely try to make them into some kind of smart person. All right. Thanks. Um, let's do a equipment check. Can you wear this? Oh, you can. Sure, it's better than nothing. What does La have? Nothing. <laughs> it's adorable. All right, they have. Almost human-like stats, but they have better wisdom, mysticism, basically that's all. And research and rituals, of course. Yeah, they're not much better than humans, but they're still better than humans, you know, we can get rid of humans. Let's do some rituals as well. A mental blessing so we don't go cray-cray. Actually, burn that. Why do we have 95 dragon bones with us? When did we get these? <laughs> Was it when we killed all those unliving dragons? Holy shit. That is cool. Do that, and we can also do the strong shoulders. No, we don't need that. It's, it's fine. I just want the, uh, the sanity to come back faster. Because Gram Grams is down bad. Yeah, 61. It's 20% bonus. It gains 14 per turn at least, I think. So that's cool. I don't want to touch those. Oh wait, we need to go that way actually. So I'm gonna put both the slave and the uh, goblin child into the den and just leave them there. But I could keep the slave, but... Until they level up. We have enough people that they don't need to go into battle. Uh, honestly, they can stay. But the child will be thrown into the den, so they can grow up with all them nasty bonuses. You know, 4.5 attribute bonus for everything. That thing is just disgusting. Flotsam! Investigate the western parts. Uh, kill whoever this is. Sharks and sneakers, whatever people. Oh, what is that? Golden relic. I don't need any of these. Oh wait, that's legendary. 
Oh. Might be better than what Mislav has right now. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, because they don't like the Sitlikas. The Bootlikas. Clitlikas. Two point four, two point three, a little slower, but it does a little more damage. Upgrade acquired. Garbage. The trash. Salt air. God damn it! I want to move on them. I don't want them to move on us. Water demon dive. Oh, it's garbage, garbage, garbage. That's good. That's decent. I don't actually have to craft something. It's better for you. But since I'm going to keep this elf with me. Might as well give them good stuff. Right, two more turns and we can drop off all the shit. Oh, everybody's leveling up, but since the game lets you just keep spending turns, it's kind of annoying. Stronger Sneak Sneak, which is very slow and kind of shit. Or Poison Throw, which you can use in yellows with intelligence? Mm, uh, I don't really want him to go into intelligence. Yeah, neither of them are very good. Although this uses Perception, this uses Strength, so this is still better. For him, if he uses it in Physical. Herbert! I don't even care, he's, he's OP. Better than a goblin, that's for sure. Saka. Some strain, yeah. Orc, definitely strain. Lifetime Servant. Gives a little more buff and a little more speed for the same amount of health, or gives more shielding. La! Definitely wisdom. Gonna be a smart tinkered tinker goblin. A crafts goblin, maybe. I don't mind. Boink. Inspect your snares. Large rat. Leave the creature. It doesn't look like an ordinary rat. It's an ugly one. It was a spore. I don't care about it. It might infect us with nasty diseases like cancer. Nasty. Okay. Child. Fuck off. And all of these things. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is the herbs? Food! That should be good, right? TP, expedition, go! There's La. Can you get that too? Aha! 
become a shaman or a wisdom thing. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. They are now here and they will be joining. Oh my god. Actually, gather up the food again. Alright, the final piece of the map shall be ours soon-ish. Oh, look at that nice boat. Hello? Move? Elf! Find the stone altar, which you know is the seal that must be broken. There are symbols on it in an ancient language. Candles are lit, despite the winds blowing hard in the place. Here, this is a place of divine origin, but old, very old. I have two out of these, so you know. I can just break it, fuck it. I can just break it with physical. Which is only skills. We are not as strong with only skills, physical, as we are with weapons. But I think we're strong enough with magic skills to do the aid. If this place in peace, you can go back to the season kill cat titties. Nah, let's read the text. Writing is not only ancient, but also divine in origin. The other races know it, and the Zerkar thought in it thought it in secret. The symbols roughly translate to by divine decree the stone is to remain untouched till the end of times. Ha! <laughs> well the times ended. And there are new winds blowing, so... It's chosen, you have the right to choose divine destiny. Break this shit. Katush. Ah, fuck! Okay, he's just gonna lose health, which is fine. He's also gonna lose health, which is fine. My chosen lost maximum sanity. Oh, and luck. Look at the amount of luck she has. I don't care about luck. We farmed so much luck with those fucking uh, nodes and whatever else gave us a bunch. We don't care. Your stone shatters and the city is broken. You feel a gust of wind and then feel salt water in your mouth, throat and lungs. You choke and drop to the ground. The Chosen feel instinctively that they have angered the Divine Pantheon. So what? Yay, we're gonna sit down. And so, just uh, smoke some weed. Mm, mm, mm. Smoke that weed, baby. I don't think it's gonna kill me, but might as well just save, just just for the fun of it. Almost one thousand. Okay. We done so. Now we need to go back on the water. Holy shit, this elf is fast. And they are faster still. Now we're gonna have to find the guy again. Also, I think that wind uh, elemental thing is completely broken. Because we again came to land and it didn't resolve the quest. Or the, not quest, but the task. Because we had one on board again, where he was like, oh, please take me to any land, please. And then we were like, okay. And we came back home, and it didn't resolve it. Broke ass quest. Or event, or whatever. It sucks. Because there is a chance for them to uh, join the group, and that would be nice. Because then we would have yet another type of creature. We like... A zoo, Ketidi, and his crew approaches you as soon as you set sail. You did it, I thank you, friend. Here, the final piece of the map. By joining it with the others, you shall see the underwater castle, Jurassic Park, revealed to you. Go, speak to her. Ah, we only needed the final piece, honestly. 
I will likely see you there. Be well, but be careful, for you may be chosen. But gods have been known to act in anger. The ship disappears before you can reply. You now see a spot marked on your assembled map. Where is that? Oh, it is right in front of us. I Praise the small map. Oh. Swim. Kill whatever this is. Sharks. Sitlika. Garbage. Ooh, that might be good for the rat. These are bad. Jurata. Another Jurassic Park. One point three. Oh, actually, it's kind of trash. It is legendary, but it doesn't have a lot of sauce. Yeah, not enough sauce. Oh shit, Piratas! Hello! What up, Piratas? Ha! Convince them to trade. Trade with me. Thank you. Ta da! It's a magic trick of Piratus Disappearus. What the fuck? Intelligence. Uh, this guy wants to shout orders. Get out of here. They got some titted beasts over there. Oh my god, they're closing in on us. They got them jugs. Thousand! Look at that. Thousand and one. Jesus. What am I even doing? Kill him. Chat is constantly reconnecting. I... That fills me with paranoia. Elf. Personal limit is the same. Get more perception wits. 10% more wits. That's why they're so fast. Ooh. Oh, here they come. Oh. That's all they moved? Two. Two hexes. They're going to regret that. Oh. I don't know why sometimes it goes to the den. Did the den finish something? Is it because they finished research? Strange, stand firm and do not let them enter your territory. What? Just kill them. We're going to prepare for this. With the rituale. Oh, I don't actually have a lot for this. Physicale. Mentale. Ah. Hey, actually we do have enough. Shit. Shit! <laughs> That's annoying. They last two turns, so we should be able to just do it. That ain't gonna work, buddy. Oh, 
Oh my god. Should be able to take this asshole out, right? Just kill it. Hey! Finally! No. Because it, it counts the turn it's complete on as one turn, so next turn when we get the physical, that will also be just one turn and these will be gone. That's such a dumb shit. Fix that. <laughs> it says they last for two turns, but they don't. Ah. Oh my god, you're ugly. But that's also cute, so I don't know how to feel about this. You're ugly cute. See the entrance to an underwater castle before you. Several Jurada stand guard and one speaks. Yo, hold the map. You may enter and speak to the queen. But you had best bow or we'll have your liver for supper. Yeah. Enter the castle, the sea water is all around you, yet it does not touch you, and you can walk and breathe with ease here. You reach the, the throne room where Juras, Juras Meta waits. She sits up on a throne made of seashells. But can she use those seashells? But you also see thin purple lines growing out of the floor and into her body, nasty, as if they were chains. She speaks. So you have the map, and I wish to have the key to Gosk's treasure. Yeah, confirm. We just nod. <laughs> yeah, you have broken the seal, as my loyal cat titty asked of you. I am now free, finally. And that the child of the gods released me. How ironic. Oh no, we've been debated. Here, the key. If it indeed lead you to Gosk's might, but because you did me a service, I shall give you a warning. Go there, take your treasure, and do not meddle in our plans. If you do not heed my words, we will meet again in combat, and I wish it not. Yeah, because you know you're gonna lose. Huh. I'm gonna dab on your corpse. Ask more about Gosk. Who the hell is he? What the hell are the plans she speaks of? Or I'm not interested in what she does. I just want the treasure. No, no, no. I want the lore. My cat Tiddy may have told you some of my tale, but his side of it is, well, naive. I did love him once, and perhaps I do still, but this is not why I am chained here, no. The gods were unjust, cruel, envious. They elevated Stribug, that elemental idiot, over me. They will pay, but you, I may yet spare. Unless we kill your ass. Just to hear the whole story? Yeah. The songs say I fell in love with a sweet mortal, Perun, got jealous, and tried to kill him. Then I heroically saved his life. I was punished, chained to his castle. Changed into a beast, and my tears of amber shit there fall every night for my lost love. And where's the fucking infinite amount of amber? Because we see the seashells and the chains, but not the amber that falls every night. Do they eat it? This was not the case. I was fascinated by Cat Tiddy, loved him even, but I was a daughter of the sea, a queen. That was not my lover, he was my mentor teaching me to become a goddess. I suppose I did allow my heart to stray, but it was love that I held for the fleeting beauty of the mortal man. His pure song, his naive heart. I yearned for a moment of mortality before I gave it away for good. But Perun got angry for, with me for wasting time. He said I was not ready for the responsibility, that I had forsaken my duties as his apprentice for mortal pleasure. Ooh. I cast his thunder upon the sea. Just as Cat Tiddy was on a boat. And he saved him? Or you saved him? He looks uneasy. Uh, he survived. And even stood up to Perun himself for me. The Thunder God laughed, turned to me and said that my mortal would perish soon enough. And that perhaps I would be ready for my divine duty once I am free. Holy fuck! Fifteen! Not soon after I did... Wow, we should have just left. We should have loved. We should. Wow. Not soon after did I f hear of Stribog rising up in the ranks and Cat Diddy the Fools. He said it f was per for the best. Perhaps it was for the best. And worse yet, for a moment I felt so too. It was my weakness. So I used all the power I had to make him everlasting, make him immortal. That way, he would not be my weakness. 
But the gods are cruel, for my power turned him into a tree, and Mokosh told Perun I would never be worthy of her do to be her daughter. That she isn't truly free, if revenge still holds her heart, convince her to abandon it for her own sake. No. We will die if we do that. Grams is going to die. He's offending the gods and seeks some sort of dark revenge. Kill her! Kill her! Magic user, she's offending the gods. Kill her! <laughs> I'm gonna do magic. Because even if you fail, that's the easiest to heal. Because we have some smoke, right? I really hope I have enough weed. I mean, I did save before the encounter, so... I've never done this before, so... I should have just left. I didn't know that asking for the lore would piss us off and make us attack her. Oh, that's actually her. She's got... Holy fuck. Jesus, the mother of the Jurata and the queen of the underwater depths. Once a prospective god of the seas, Jurasmat was cast down and punished by the gods. Angry and vengeful, she now seeks to prove her might. How to kill a god. Summon sea dragons. Sea dragons? What are those funny creatures? The, hey, don't eat my armor. Uh oh. Sea pillar. Sea starts bubbling and after a moment it explodes with a pillar of water flying right at the target. But she's only one. Famous last words. She's only one. Only one. To try and eat a heart. Holy fuck, you don't have any health. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Sea dragons. Sea dickens. What the hell? Okay. You're dead. They have the wheel drain. Oh god, she's coming. She's coming out. Old man needs to... That's why Gram Grams is everywhere. Is this like a... Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a double attack. Shit. Oh. 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 Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Gram Grams! Be dressed, mud, and she lies before you in submission. What now, chosen? A final blow to end my misery, or will you spare me? Kill her. Gildrasmat and her Jurada daughters utter a deep cry that shakes the foundation of the underwater castle. As you see, Catted is trying to run towards you, his face twisted in pain. Before he can eat you, his body turns back into a tree, a dead tree now, mere driftwood. You manage to take a necklace that you know is the key to your map's treasure before you are forced to run back to your ship. Oh my god, that's him! That's Catted is! He joined our... He joined us! Ah! <laughs> A seeker got struck down so hard, holy shit. Oh my, oh my god, we were not ready for that. However, here's the thing, right? I'll let you in on a secret. Jesus Christ. And do that twice. Here's the secret, right? Secret sauce. If 
You're gonna be fine. You know why? Because I got the secret sauce. Pow! No one dies. Imagine the Chosen dying. Oh shit. The thing was not enough. Powers. Oh, Gramps is fine. You're fine. You're fine. No, the Chosen wants to die. And this asshole wants to die. I don't care about the Seeker. How did we get more things from him? If Seeker dies, I, I accept that. Also, if Chosen dies, I might accept that as well, because we can resurrect her, right? I can just sacrifice the Elf and the Noel. So honestly... Yeah. Seeker's dead. What about this asshole? Yeah, they should be fine next turn. Hey! <laughs> Easy. Well, who's gonna take his stuff? You can take that. He left the wolf, left the, this thing. Hey, the elf. The elf can take this. What? Is this where you draw the line? Yay. There you go. This is better for you. Just kill this schmoo. Fucking schmoo. Nine point four. I don't think anyone has garbage like that anymore. Oh, actually, Orc. Orc can use a better one. This was the worst Javelin we had, so let's get rid of that. And 21, plus 27 of the yellow. That could be good for someone who's using yellow. You! Yeah. This could be good for the Elf. Hmm. Hmm. No. No. Why do you have such a cool fucking thing? Okay, Seeker was the worst equipped, save for the elf. Oh, cool. That was Rusaka's thing. Wait, where is Rusaka? Oh, she's still alive. I don't know why I never gave her a name. Yeah, I even gave the fucking filth a name, but Rusaka is still just Rusaka. Huh. That's alright. I mean, Seeker was called Seeker, so you know, whatever. I feel like that was a fair trade. Yeehaw! You see? The wind people. And they're like, oh, you speak to me? I made of wind, I was born to roam the land. I'll stop causing you trouble, just take me home. Any land will do. Agree. Gives us some buff. Refills our uh, faith, that's nice. And then now uh, we go to a land. And it's not gonna do shit. I want to wait for my chosen to heal up. So we're going to go on land, kill this snake nest and... You know, be merry, I guess. You see? We're on land. Nothing happens. Actually, we're gonna go back to the den and get some more weed. Ah! 
Nice. Weed. Um, grab some of this. Whoops. Um, grab some of that. Variety of garbage. And do some rituals. That's good. That's decent. If only I had like one more healer in the main group. I w that would be like what? What? Actually, what does he have? Sixteen or thirteen percent death resist. This no pad. What do you see? Are you the one? No, you're not. Actually, you are the one. Uh, this thirteen percent. That would be twenty-six percent chance of death resist. Which would lower the chance by 26%. So actually let's let's look look at the the numbers. Uh, I gotta open the picture though. Don't know where it is. Don't know where I saved it. Dun. Should be on my desktop. Hmm. Yes. So for physical, if you're a bit, if you're under thirty percent or over thirty percent, you have zero percent chance of dying. Uh, between thirty percent and zero percent, you have thirty. Actually, you have a thirty percent chance of dying at zero percent. Apparently, so every percent below thirty health gives you one percent chance of dying. So if you're twenty nine percent health, you have one percent chance of dying. Apparently. And under 0% health, every percent lost is 0.4% extra chance of dying. So that 26% would be pretty cool, because that would mean that at 0% health, they would only have 4% chance of dying. Oh. And spiritual lowers your health significantly every turn, as your spiritual spirit regenerates, because it regenerates from your health. But if your death resist is high enough, you can go into even into the negatives and, and be like, yeah, I don't die. The healers are super overpowered. For physical and spiritual death resist. The spiritual essentially becomes uh, physical death. And since they have high sanity, a full group of just healers is just, you know, it's just gonna roll on everything. <laughs> it's funny. I should maybe try that at one point. Just try and just only accept kids that can turn into healers. Have like 10 healers and there's just a roll on everything with yellow. And anything that we cannot do with yellow, we just run away from because we, we can't die from physical and uh, spiritual. <laughs> That would be super fun. Vildrain, you have enough destiny, so yes, that's better than weakness. Filth will get more perception. I'm actually gonna keep this snake nest here. I don't want anything nastier to spawn. Oh god, they see us. The chat reconnects again. You know what? I'm just gonna do the ghost might and my might. And the stream there. It's just on, it's only gonna be a four hour stream, not a seven hour one, but it's pissing me off that it keeps reconnecting and I don't know why. Because I keep thinking that I'm losing network, but the, the frames, the dropped frames are fine. And we're in the green, so I, I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm so upset. Ooh, 30 wisdom. The orc gets even faster. Huh. 
And stone bomb. Ooh, look at that. We might drown here. But know this. Some of us are water demons, so they can not drown. And that goes to my chosen as well. They are actually a water demon. Partially. Yeah! <laughs> The seas were meant for us. Also, what the fuck is this? Is that a kraken just there? Look at that. It's got crab legs. That looks cool. I want one. Can I have a kraken as a pet? Hey! Water demon, you know how to handle water creatures. Smoke them. Smoke them if you got them. That's decent ish, I guess. It's wind again. Look at this shit. You're gonna wait until the wind goes away. Because if it's a spiritual uh, fire, fucking wind. I hate this. Too much wind. Alright. We're gonna burn some incest. Or, not incest. We don't do that here. Incense. Those words are too close together. Alright, Gox made. We lost our Noel Pop for this. Ooh, that's good. Because he doesn't have a lot. Although he doesn't really join during... Uh... Yeah, he doesn't really have anything other than that for purple. So. But still, you know, why not? Actually, retaliation. Fuck it. Mm, wisdom, sure. Harry, or elf. Let's do it. If I need to sacrifice anything, we have an elf, so, you know. Wait, I should have taken the, the goblin child. How long do they have till, we, till they grow up? I want to drown them. Dude, I have to do that now. Uh, I'm sorry. I just realized, I just remembered. We need to drown a child. Fuck. Very good timing for me to remember that, eh? <laughs> Let's go. Alright, little child, you come with us. Take a little less wood this time around. Actually, let's take more of that, because that's used for a lot of things. Alright, food-wise, we're okay. Alright. Did I grab the child? La? La. Oh, they even have the ghost with them. Whoops, that's okay. Because we can drown a child at the water demons, right? To get another water demon instead. I would rather take a Rusaka than a goblin. Fuck the goblins. They're inferior. We might even be able to get a Wodnik, maybe. Or a Befuddler, who knows? Something cool. But even a Rusaka will do. So the assholes are here, I think. Just sail. Sail.
Where's the arena? Could maybe try the arena again. We did buff up our items. There they are. Although we're still not on endgame items, which is kind of weird. Holy shit. I'm really slow, but... What can you do? What can you do? Kill him. Can reliably kill anything that's under 10. Without even thinking about it. Quick! This child is almost too old to be drowned. And if they grow up, we'll have to send them into the... Oh, God damn it! Send them into the night. See, again, these fucking things. And we agree. And they just buff us. But that's about it. It's a cock thing. Wait, what? What? God damn it. I have to move away and then move back. Gar. Fucking snow. Hey! Loyalty. Have your human ch- Oh, no. What? You can only sacrifice human children. What a fucking waste. What a fucking waste indeed. Eat my ass. Oh, that was a waste. I thought any kids would do. Apparently just humans. They don't like anything other than humans. Well, still, we're still in time to put the kid back. So they can grow up in here, right? Yeah, I still got ten turns. It took us nine fucking turns. Shit. Mmm, blubber. Oh yeah, Blubber is not part of the main group now, so I don't care. Intelligence. Well, Goods for a headbot, but... Speed. Strange. Whatever. I don't care about the child. Ugh! Fuck. I'm disappointed. Now are we gonna have a goblin? We killed... Although, we have an elf, we have a goblin, and we killed the elves, and we killed the goblins. I guess we can preserve them, you know? We can put them in a reserve. Or a whatever. Uh, you know, an enclosure. And just look at them and be like, yeah, this is your land now. Be grateful. Give us thanks for giving you a part of your own, uh, own land. God damn Americans, what the hell? What the hell? Alright, finally we are ready. But, I'm not even gonna buff up, I don't give a fuck. I don't think I have enough stuff anyways. Then again, the extra 20% uh, are not bad. So... Check it out. And slap some spiritual on that. Spiritual. Slap some mental on that as well. Can we do physical? Oh, look at that, we can. Just. Just right. This is some massive ritualistic behavior from us. And it turns nighttime, which is 
Which is actually... Actually, it doesn't matter, because the, the Seeker died. The Null was the only one that had bonus during night time, so it's fine. Musaka wants some mysticism? Mm. I don't know about that. I don't think they need it. No. They do not need mysticism, they need wisdom. Alright. Yar. Oh, that's pretty. As you approach an underwater ruin and the treasure map lights up, the writing changes and it now reads instructions. You stand at the brink of Gosk's might. Enter at your own peril. Preserve, persevere, and the might of the sea will reward you. Fail and you shall join the darkness of the ocean's depths. Sure. Ta! Easy. Oh, it's skill only though. Mm. You enter a chamber that has two stone doors at its end. Both bear the symbol of Gox Gosk's treasure. One reads the path to of knowledge, the other reads the path of spirit. You, are all you also sense that you are being watched. Go through knowledge, go through spirit, seek, speak up and ask whomever is watching you to reveal themselves, or break both of the doors. Well, at least try to break the doors. You're gonna speak up, you're gonna be social about this. Well, it kind of fucked us with the uh, Jurassic Park lady, you know, being social, but we're gonna do it again. One of the walls changes into a thin sheet of water, and behind it you see a large disfigured creature, half hidden in the dark depths of the sea. You hear a booming but tired voice. You have <coughs> come to claim my treasure. Many have tried before, he points to the floor, and you now realize it is covered in skeletons and half decomposed bodies. Were they here all along? Are you Gosk? Or whatever your name is? Grosk? Go Kiosk? Gosk. Gosk. Man. Yes, or Watcher, perhaps. I cannot attack you from here, but I uh, keep those barriers strong, so I'll enjoy watching you try to break them. I do get on with it. I am bored. Try to pry more information from him as he seems eager to talk. No! It's 15, and we are going to go insane if you do this. We're gonna go through the spirit door. Simple. Holy shit, that's the might. Everybody gets 64, 64.8, 3.3 for Most of the people get 4.8, some get only. Ah, oh, the chosen gets less. And this guy got a lot. Through the sheer force of your in impeccable will and the mastery of your spirit, you prevail and prove worthy. The door stands ajar, and within you see the treasury. What if I break the other ro doors now? Take a reward. Alright, a wooden shield. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. These are beautiful. Low tier. Even that is shit. Oh wow, a maxed out crafting tool. How gracious. A bunch of dragon bones. A bunch of mithril. So these are okay, because we have to travel far for the mithril, so that's nice. Everything else so far... I mean, we got some Igneous Spike, actually. 15, that's nice. A strong shield. Oh, that shield is good. Ah, nasty, nasty. Ooh, okay. We might have two things. Cool. Oh, he's also talking to us. You collect your bounty and then you feel the tra uh, structure around you shake, forcing you to retreat back to your ship. Once on board, you see a creature emerge from the sea and laugh. Yes, yes, finally. Centuries in the darkness with nothing but hatred to keep me alive. And now you, of all things, have let me out. Thank you. Now he's gonna kill us. What do you want? I am Gosk, the god of the seas and oceans. Or I was before your pretty gods. Petty gods locked me away. I saw the fallacy of man before the tree burned. I sought to cleanse the lands to prevent the tragedy. And for my foresight, I was banished. Well, no more. I will sink all your lands, so the cosmic tree itself becomes part of my domain. Why now? The light that was held in the core of the earth, it formed part of my chain. When it got free, the chain finally loosened, just enough to give me an opportunity. After that, all I had to do was find a god chosen who would follow my map and find the treasure. We got jabated again. Tell him the light is back in its place. 
The chain was loosened when the light escaped its prison. It matters not if you put it back in or freed it entirely. I cannot. Is the light back in its place? We didn't really do that yet. Enough talk. I have much to do, but don't worry. You will have some time to sell your fares. 200 turns. Turns from you and swims away. So now we have an end time. 200 turns and then it's game over. What is that though? You open the great doors and claim the treasure. How are you read his gosk? He vowed to sink Alothea, so he will be the only one. You have 200 turns to stop him. Hey! So, uh, I mean, we don't really have much to live for anymore. So, um. I mean. Somehow we glitched the main quest to be completed. This is still not done. We actually have to do this. We, we must kill him. Come to face the vengeful sea god, Gosk. He seems entranced in a ritual. But you know full well he will not go down easily. Kill him. Mythical. Now, that's an actual god. Once he was considered to be the master of the North Sea, a god in his domain. Mutation. What the fuck? Magic mutated one of your friends. They lose some of their hit points, but become more aggressive. What? Random ally, so he can choose himself, gain 20% of everything, or 60% of his own health points. So he loses 40% of his own health points, and this is a physical battle. I really hope he chooses th he uses that on himself. Angry waves. It's impossible, but the waves seem to be angry at you. He's attractive. Uh, he's a sexy man. Hey, use mutation, dickhead! <clears throat> or something. Slice. Plop, 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 plop. Plop, plop. Plop, 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 plop. Plop, plop. Six point nine. So he can come before this guy and punch his lights out. And he can still come before him and punch his lights out. <laughs> Can put down Gramps again or this guy. Put down random, random shit. This guy is getting some super strong. Whoa! Let's summon a wolf. See what it does. Oh look, he spaced himself out neatly, so I can't do the the AoE stuff on him. Not that I chose any AoE stuff. Tch! What a deek. Here we go. <laughs> He's fucking dead! He defeat the god, the old god, and his screams of agony create a shockwave that would have destroyed your boat were it not for divine protection. Gosk's prison opens up once more and is, is sucked into it. You know with absolute certainty that you have averted another catastrophe and proved yourself a true chosen of the gods. What is that? A dildo? Crystal relic. Two-handed. Weak regeneration. Lullaby? Get out of here. Ooh, a pure club. Now that's what I call a pure club. These are the same fucking thing, but this is worse. Great. Right. 
Armored Club. Accept the blessings of the gods. Gods all speak to you in unison. You did well, Chosen. Now you may shed your mortal coil and walk the land of Thea in any skin you like. Choose well. So from a bandit archer, we can become a dragon. A Zmei! <gasps> a fucking snake! A lava troll, an unliving dragon. Oh, that's sexy. A sea thing! <laughs> He turns us into a fucking starfish or a crab. Yeah, that's a sea thing. <laughs> I'm guessing it's... Oh, there's the blue dragon, so it's probably not that. Aleshi, stay as you are. I kind of want to become a Zmei or a unliving dragon. My fantasies become a bag of bones. <laughs> stay as we are, because that's how we defeated the god. <laughs> what do we use to teleport back? Oh, leather. I didn't see any meat. Where is my meat? Come, we don't have meat. But we oh look we got a horse for it as well. We kind of owned its face. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Zarya's fucking speed buff also worked, and also giving everybody a lot of wits uh, in the past couple hundred turns. Oh my goodness! It's a kraken. Well, that's too bad because we're gone. Receive a mysterious letter. You have defeated the great Gosk. But you were wise enough to, not to do so. No, we killed him. We beat his ass. In a way, you have achieved your peak as chosen. But if you wish to face some more outrageous challenges, come find the sea mirrors. Within those magical pockets, you will discover the echoes of great enemies summoned for one purpose only, to fight. Yours truly, the Maker. Even more... Prove to be true hero of Thea and the rightful chosen of the Cosmic Three Pantheon once more by defeating the devious Gosk and putting an end to his plotting. Ensure that the lands of your gods are safe. What? Why is there an elf having fun? That's not our village. I mean, I can keep playing. I actually need to finish the main quest because it glitched out, so I... I I can't accept this because it's not done yet. Holy shit. Thousand. 48 god points. No, we're not done yet. There's the sea mirrors. But... That's gonna be for... Tomorrow, I guess? I'm probably just gonna wrap up the, uh, the Lightbringers. And then... Try to beat the second arena and then look at the sea mirrors. Why is he getting so garbage rolls, this man? Get speed. What do you need? I mean, soul damage is okay. Honestly, anything plus two is okay for me. Orc strength? Yeah. Physical, just kind of. Nasty. Alright. I'm gonna just go back home. Save. We lost some people. But we also gained an elf. And a bunch of mysticism, I guess. So today we lost. We lost Seeker. That was a very good trade, honestly, and I didn't have to save Scum because the Chosen didn't die. We lost two rats and the root dog, but those were willing sacrifices, so we could have maybe some more children. Oh, and we actually gained a child. We got Leh. Lah. 
and they are going to grow up soon. So yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed the Kosk's might and the absolute stomping of the guards. Goodbye.